Are you ready for a little controversy? Now, if any of you sons of bitches got anything else to say, now's the fucking time! Hey, everybody, Jim and Sam are here. It's time to set the break, the moment. Fit it in my soul. It's written in my bones so deeply. I want to lose control. Welcome to the Jim Norton and Sam Roberts Show. I'm a little tired today. Why is that? I was up watching basketball. Oh, nice. Look at you. Just Jimmy sports guy. I don't um, typically watch the NBA, and I'd kind of forgotten. But I love Just Kareem. the WNBA? I like the WNBA. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into chicks. <laughs> nice, dude. I uh, I love Kareem, so I wanted to. I, mean, I never loved LeBron, but yeah. you know he was going to break the record, and I didn't realize it was so... Like, it was there. It was imminent. So I started to look on Twitter, like, late, and they said he was only six points away. I'm like, oh, I gotta find the game. So I found the um, game on TNT, and um, about 20 minutes into it, and then he broke it. It was really, um, he wore pink shoes. I don't know why he did that. I think those are his LeBrons. Oh, are they? Yeah. You're allowed to wear stuff like that when you're playing? They don't care if you wear weird colored sneakers? Not no, anymore. Yeah, people do it all the time. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. You can't wear, like, uh, reflective materials. Like, you can't wear, like, the materials that flash bright. Right. When you take a photo of them or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Okay. But, yeah, you could, these days you can wear whatever color you want. Oh, I didn't realize they were his shoes. Um, I kind of liked them, actually. But, yeah. Yeah, LeBron's not wearing anybody else's shoes. He broke the record. And, Kareem uh, was there. Kareem was courtside. Was that the publicist with him? Yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah it's oh. his, his girl, yeah. Bad Bunny was there, too. So was Jay-Z. The Jigga Man? That's right. Nice. Denzel was there. It was real good Denzel. timing that they did Magic. it right around. They, the, they decided to break the record right around the Grammys. That's good booking. Yeah. I, yeah, sure. Because all the celebrities were in they town. Were in I mean, town. they could probably just fly back. Sure. We, I mean, yeah, but everybody's there. I mean, yeah. to go like, okay, we're all going to fly back to watch this. They're probably not. They're going to go back on tour. They're going to sure. go do their business. This just happened to be worked out. Right. And LeBron probably did. It's fake. Yeah, make it that way. Like he probably. I mean, if it was it scripted, they would have done it on Thursday. But why? Why the Bucks? Yeah, because the Bucks. It's Kareem's, Kareem's old team, first yeah. team plus. Maybe Bad Bunny was flying home t- That's this true. morning. Yeah, and Denzel had stuff to do. That's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where 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 are they playing the Bucks? Uh, in L.A. Oh, okay, yeah. But you'd get more eyes on it if you broke it in the first quarter of a ten o'clock game than close to what. Maybe we Kareem could only night. come last night. Yeah, me and other the press. No, he was going to be at both. Maybe he's getting. He's not coming at. now. No. You think he's getting yelled at by the publicist? Yeah. I told you we didn't have to go to this game. That was definitely his girl. For her to talk to him that way, that's his girl. Well, yeah, and I mean, you don't need to bring your publicist to the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's just your publicist. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. If you're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you she probably was. Got... She was not nice to people back here, right? Like behind the scenes. I don't think so. Not yeah. that I recall. No, she was. not. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't just we didn't just No, yeah, she was pissed that you guys wouldn't talk about the children's book. But we did at the end. Like... Yeah, of course you did. You're professionals. There it is. Yeah, let's watch this. This was uh what did he thirty eight thousand three hundred ninety points. Oh All yeah, this was night? this was uh yeah, it was a tra- crazy game. It was an insane game. They won forty thousand to ninety <laughs> to ninety seven. It was sick. Did LA lose this game? Yeah. By three. Nobody knows that, though. No, I do. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oklahoma City's like, hey, can we talk about it? We're burying the lead, guys. We're, we're burying the lead. Yeah, let's see this. Sure. Westbrook. Looking for James. He's got it. Coming to the end of the third quarter. LeBron James, a shot in history. There it is. 
People are just happy to be a part of history. That's yeah. such a cool game to be at. Yeah. And Kareem is happy, but uh, you're not. They're not close. They don't like each no. other. And I was kind of like, I'm like, LeBron is going to not be cool to Kareem, and it's going to really infuriate me because I love Kareem. And he was very nice. He was they very were gracious. Both, yeah, yes, respectful. very gracious. What is it with LeBron that, like, I feel like you always hear about, oh, these guys, LeBron doesn't get along with this guy. LeBron doesn't get along with he's that not a, guy. But he's not a great guy. Like, I've only, I don't know him at all, but I've interacted with him a couple of times, and he wasn't particularly pleasant either time. I, actually, when I took the picture with him, he was nice. But Would you would like to take the picture? I thought you wanted to take the picture. I saw him uh, turning down fans for photos at UFC when he was in Dana's section. Like, he People just, like to point out how much he lies. LeBron lies a lot. Does yeah, he? you've never seen those. I love them. It's one of the great <laughs> memes. There's all the people, like, their Twitter accounts devoted to just LeBron James lying. Just w real quick snippet videos. Is that true or is it made up? <laughs> no, it's, he lies. And but it's there's, like... There's it's also clips of him... Uh, lying or, about nothing. Or just photos of him always beginning a book. But, like, <laughs> he's never in the middle of a book. I mean, look, you got to remember that this guy got plucked out of... High school. high school, like yeah. he was a he was famous from the time he was a junior in high school, right? Like he, yeah. still in high sure. school, he was already famous. Sure, I, I remember hearing about him in, in of course. The early two thousands. Then he gets plucked out to play in the NBA right after his senior year of high school. They say he started the same year as Carmelo Anthony, but Carmelo had a year at Syracuse. By the way, ups. very smart to to leave high school and do it. Hundred percent. Fuck college and them getting four years and possibly risking an injury. That's what Carmelo Anthony won a national championship as a freshman. And they were like, hey, you want to come in the NBA now or you want to keep playing for Syracuse? He was like, I'll, I'll take the money. Of course. I'll go with the NBA, I think. hundred uh, percent. LeBron was really smart to do this right hurt, out of high school. You, you hurt your knee playing in college. And this over. Four years. Again, you're not nearly as big as you. You grow a lot physically in four years and you become better. Sure. But he was good enough to just... He was already a monster. Yeah. He was already good. But that's to say, those are development. Those are important developmental years. Sure. So the fact that he was already all eyes on him. How, how big, how old He's was like Kareem beeps. when he broke the record? Was he 42? Was he four years he older? He was older, I believe. Well, that's LeBron did it quicker. College, yeah. And it was the three-pointers, too. I think Kareem yeah. had one three-pointer in his whole career. <laughs> <laughs> one. Yeah. That's impressive. I know. That he got the record with one, one three-pointer. Three-pointer is that fucking, that, this, that little sky hook. I love that. Know what you know and know what you don't. Yeah. I don't do three-pointers. No, he didn't. No, he did not. I just score a massive amount of regular um, passes. Yeah. Uh, he retired when he was 42, so I think he was uh, 37. He was younger. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so he broke but He had played it. more games. And LeBron's 39? 38. 38. He's he, only 38? And he's going to play for a few more years. He's yeah. a hard 38, boy. He's still averaging over 30 points a game. Yeah, I mean, he's physically... I mean, he looks older than 38 to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, Well, we've yeah. been aware of him for so long, too. He feels older because you've been aware of LeBron it's, since it, you're in your early 20s. But the hairline doesn't help you. Oh, uh, it doesn't. No. Trust but, me. They were very nice to each other, though. I was hairline. happy to see that. I was happy. Like, I didn't want to see Kareem get dissed. I was, like, really happy. Oh, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I didn't know because they like they, they asked him about a month ago about his relationship with Kareem or whatever. And he goes, "No comment, no relationship." Wow. LeBron said that to the reporters about Kareem, so I'm like, he might not even shake his hand, but of course he did and told the audience to give him a standing ovation. It was nice. It's too big of a moment. Yeah, I was it, hoping the moment's so, bigger than but you never know. And they both respect the commissioner, Adam Silver. Like they're not going to fuck him. And no, like... and it's a big, and, and it, it is, and and it is Kareem as a ball player right now. This is not the guy writing articles, right. and this is not the, this. This just too. Yeah, you respect the, the game. Of ultimately, course, I would hope. Does LeBron get along with MJ? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. It was nice. Though. I was glad I saw it. I was glad I remembered it. I just happened to see it on Twitter, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's find it." Did you watch his post game speech? No, no. I was. I wanted no, to go to it, bed. That was during the game. Oh, they well, stopped, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Post scoring. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I watched that. Sure. Yeah, it was nice. You got bad word out. He said, "Fuck." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I just thought that that's the quote. <laughs> let's take a listen. Right. This is history, after all. Yeah. And to the NBA, to Adam Silver, to the late, great David Stern, I thank you guys so much for allowing me to be a part of something I've always dreamed about. And um, I, I would never, ever, in a million years, uh, dreamt this even better than what it is tonight. So 
Fuck, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I just love that, like, all the regular radio sports shows yeah. cannot play his they speech on edited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in the immortal words of LeBron James, <laughs> fuck, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is one of those things that's probably happening so fast. What do you say? What do you say? And even if you had stuff planned in the moment, it's like yeah. the moment's so big. It's, it's such so, a big moment. Yeah. And I also feel like LeBron is going through it right now. Did you see, like, he did an interview recently where he said he just wanted to go to Starbucks and Target? Oh, yeah. No. Like, he was talking about, like, yeah. wanting to be a person. And yeah. he thinks sometimes about how, like, you know... All he wants to do is be able to walk around a Target or go into Starbucks yeah. and they put his name on a cup and he can go pick it up. Yeah, it's got to be weird. Like these little day to day things you just can't do because you're, I mean, it's obviously a great life, but. Yeah, he's in the New York Times. Yeah, but you get used to the great life and you start to notice the things that you can't do. But meandering through a store, just going like. I love going to Target. Just whatever you're looking for, just to walk around a store with someone, and, and he probably has not ever done that, ever, not in you, 20 years. You can't be LeBron James famous and casually go into the toy aisle as an adult man. No. He was already you famous can, before he was even. But I'll tell you what. The, like, he was a, I'll tell you what's confirmed. You can be Sam Roberts famous and go into the toy aisle as an adult man. Yep. You yeah. buy all the toys you want, nobody's going to say sure. anything. Sure. Nobody questions You can be and Sam like, Roberts famous and walk by active television cameras. <laughs> no problem. No. <laughs> I've done it. Paparazzi lines. They don't bother you. <laughs> me neither. They ask me if I'm a photographer. Yeah. You know what's the worst? When you buy toys at Target? I had to, I only do self-checkout now because every now and then you get a pretty girl at the cash register for girl trip. and she goes, do you need a gift receipt? I go, no. <laughs> mm -mm. No. Not no a gift. gift. These are for me. Are, are they I, I know they're gonna... for my kids. No, I go like this. No, no, no. No, these are no I know I'm going to keep them. Are they quoting this like he's an idiot for saying regular people? I mean, I think it's fine. I, I I'm no, no, sure no, no, no. I mean, it's oh, just no, an interesting. A... People oh, okay. have different opinions on it. Like I, some I'm... people are like, you know, you know, I would, I would take your end of the bargain instead of mine. But he said there are times when I wish I could do normal things. I wish I could go to Target sometimes and walk into a Starbucks and have my name on the cup just like regular people. And I don't, you know. Uh, no, I don't think anyone's saying he's not even complaining. He's just, I'm sure once in a while, like Barbara Streisand seems nuts, but she has that ice cream, like little, uh, in, in her on her property, she has like, that little ice cream place where she can go and buy ice cream from a vendor. Yeah. And it's one of those things that when you're iconic, famous, you just want to just do something normal and not be treated anyway. Just order ice cream and not have anybody ask you any other questions. Yeah. What do yeah, you want? Even that's artificial. Like she's She built it in no, her no, house. Of course, yeah. but it's like one of those things that's probably the closest she can come to doing anything. She's LARPing. Yeah, she's pretending. But she's that famous where anywhere she goes. She can't go into 31 Flavors. No. He can't just go to Target. Like, you can't he, just go so, to the store. And he's so big, too. Dude. He's so tall. I told you, I saw Kareem on a plane. Right. Um, with that lady, actually. It's um, weird. And they were sitting, like, four <laughs> rows behind me. And when you walk on, you just see this giant figure with a blanket over his head. It looked like E.T. Because he, he towers <laughs> above the seats. And he put the blanket over his head to probably sleep, but so people on the plane wouldn't bother. No one even, spoke to him. Even if he's not tired. He has to put a blanket over his head. While they're getting on. Even if it's just to avoid everybody looking at him. While people are getting on. Yes. Everyone knows who Kareem is. And everyone would stop for a picture on their way back. Once you're in the first class cabin and you're in the air, you're probably fine. I'm sure then you are. Yeah, no one's going to bother you in the middle of the flight. But. but, yeah, when everybody's getting on the plane and all the, the peons are headed back to steerage. Yeah. You can't let them see. You got to put the blanket over your head. Yeah. And plus, there's no way, even those seats for him are so uncomfortable. <laughs> and he's so big. Like, even if you had, didn't see him get on the plane, like, he's just, I'm, he, how many times do you think people have seen just that person with a blanket over his head? Look like how big that guy is. What's he, Kareem <laughs> Abdul Jabbar or something? Yeah, a lot like, of them. Yes, I am. Well, people saw, I saw him in the waiting area. Like, I said, all Sure, sure. I don't even know if he remembered me or not. But I'm a fellow first classer, so don't, yeah. don't, don't worry about the it. The first time I met him, he knew who I was because he recognized me from uh, Bored to Death. Oh, Bored to show. Death. He goes, I know you. Yeah. That's awesome. That's got to feel really kind of cool. I was out of my mind. I, I got him to sign a ball. He didn't really want to, but I got him. To, it's to me, so yeah. I'll, I'll never. This is Kareem. Of have course. To. I might have mean if times get tough, a little bleach, rub out that gym. No. You got a nice little item for sale. No, I'm happy. I'm just lucky I got to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Yeah. It's, it, that's cool. That, like, one of the greatest players knew who you were. 
Yeah, but that was just because he probably had just watched that Doesn't episode. Matter, yeah, like, yeah. It was, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I watched uh, an old interview with Michael Jordan, and they asked him about being- MJ! That's right. Okay. And they asked him about being the greatest of all time, and he said he doesn't even like when it gets brought up. At that point, I don't know how he feels today. Yeah. But he said he doesn't even like when it gets when it's brought up because, you know, all the people that came before him, like he has reference for that. Sure. So, you know, to discredit them and say that he's the greatest now. Yeah, that's probably accurate, though. He's the greatest of all time. I, I think he Michael is, Jordan's yeah. the greatest of all time. Will Chamberlain was great. But Incredible. Will, was so much bigger than everybody else. Yeah, like, it was a different game, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I'm no expert, but it's got to be Michael Jordan. Yeah, I think it's so. a six, Peter. Come on. Anyway, it was nice. It was a nice moment last night, and I was happy. Uh, I, the, the thing I cared about was that Kareem was treated nicely. Yes. Yes, he was honored. And look at that. It's like passing the torch. Yeah. He said something else recently, LeBron, didn't he? I was just going to mention it, and I, I, I lost it. It's in my head. It was uh, it was along the same lines of the Target thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Bradley's? He, no, oh. he didn't. Didn't he? Stop and shop? No, it wasn't about stores. Oh, it was uh, Dunkin' Donuts. He, he wanted a latte. No. It Guy wasn't, was improv Yeah, it wasn't shopping. <laughs> he just tweeted something Get one weird. Of those cold coffees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess iced coffee. <laughs> I'm a Edna Faust. <laughs> I wish I could just go to Faust Con. <laughs> 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 That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, he said something on his Twitter account, like maybe it's just me or something like that. Oh, that was uh, that was in regards to Kyrie Irving getting traded to Dallas instead of uh, L.A. Oh, Kyrie didn't want to play with LeBron? No, he wanted to. Okay. But the Nets were petty and traded him to where he would not have preferred to go instead. That's I, hilarious. I wanted to go to L.A. That's hilarious. I think about yeah. that sometimes. Like, with these basketball, with athletes, like, the whole trading. Like, I was thinking about that with Kyrie specifically. What if he doesn't want, like, it just, your boss comes to you and goes, hey, you work in Dallas now with a different organization, and you have to move your family to Dallas? Well, Depends on your of, contract. A lot of guys have no trade clauses. Yeah. Or they have to approve the city. I don't know how big that is in sports other than baseball. Like, in baseball, no trade clauses are huge, but I don't know how prevalent they are. In, in really? Gotta, they got to up that union. Because in NBA and NFL, like, their contracts are constantly being restructured. They're for shorter amounts of time because, because of the salary, the salary caps. caps. Yeah. Mm. Oh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, just like... Just the idea that Kyrie has to go like, hey, you like Brooklyn? Big, big whoop. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're leaving. Enjoy Dallas. They go, oh, what? Why'd they trade him? Was it a personality? He wanted, he wanted to be traded. He requested a trade. He they didn't like, like the coach? Or? He was just tired of being in, in, in Brooklyn. And uh, he said that if you don't trade me, I'm just going to sit out the rest of the year. They what were the like, fuck are you doing when they're paying you? They were like, cool, man. Where do you want to go? He's like, I'd love He's to go there. to the Lakers. Yeah. They go, cool. Dallas it is. But, <laughs> but, but how can they? How can he say that if they're paying the guy? How can he all sit out? Like, was he? Because this was the last year of his contract. He wasn't going to re-up. But why, how? How? They, so they wouldn't have had to pay him if he sat out? I don't know the specifics. Of that. That's crazy. But yeah, I, I know that he said, I, I'll just sit out there. Yeah, I don't like him. him. I don't no, like a him. lot of people don't like I don't him. Like yeah. Him. Unfortunately, yeah. he had the upper hand in this because you know. He's a great player. He's yep. he's one yeah. of the top twenty right now. So the Nets want to trade him because you get a return. You're not coming sure. back next year. So let's get something let's get right something. now. Yeah, of course. For one of the best players. What'd they get for him? Were they young players? Uh they got two guys and a couple draft picks. Okay. But yeah, decent. It was a decent return. Dikembe? No. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> not in my house. That commercial? Yeah, that's great. That's great. But that's what LeBron was referring to. Okay. Because LeBron wanted gotcha. him to come over. Kyrie gotcha. wanted okay. him to come over. It's just crazy. I'm glad they didn't send him to LA. <laughs> so I. Hilarious. I'm glad. Very I'll funny. I'll sit out. I'll sit out there. We're like, cool. Where do you want to go? How about not there then? Sit on the beach for a month. Fucking idiot. I love that too. And he didn't see that coming. He was like, what if I publicly make it known where I want to go? They were like, oh, okay. Thanks for that information. We'll use that going forward. You won't be going there. Although it depends on what the Lakers offered him too. I'm sure that they just <laughs> the Lakers are probably like, much. sure. Yeah. Would you want to do a trade? They're like, no, we don't have anything to trade. <laughs> nope, sorry. They might not have had the young players doubt that Dallas did or something. Yeah. Good trade for some young players. Never the feels ability. good in the moment. Ooh, but oh, it, but it, it works can pay out. off big. It works out. It can pay off big. I think it was more out of spite. I think I think, right, I think so. there was a lot yeah. of spite there. Sure. Yeah. You'd have to Fuck give him a nice deal. Just because of how shitty he had treated 
like the organization like the entire time. Yeah, why was he such a douche? douche? And they had a deal with him. Because he's just a hard guy to deal with. They had a deal with him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like he had multiple controversies. He didn't they... play most of last season because right. he refused to get vaccinated. Then you got the whole Jewish thing that you got to go oh, through. Yeah, and like, right, he's yeah. just It's always something. Yeah, so he's like, shut up. all right, you want to go to L.A.? He's like, I'd love to. They go, okay, enjoy Dallas. Yeah. You'll be flying coach. Actually, <laughs> Dallas is probably a better city. Although well, Dallas is kind of metropolitan, but for, if, if he's thinking that way, he's probably better off in Texas than Los Angeles. And you can probably- And you pay less taxes. And you can probably skirt uh, some of the controversies. Like, I feel like a player in New York or Los sure. Angeles or those cities- yeah. They have more of a spotlight on yep, them. Yeah, yeah. Texas know? is like a little less because yeah. those things are not going to be made as big a deal by no. Texas press. Right, right. They don't and the Texas fuck. fan base, and yeah, you know, I don't care. they're just there for the game. But uh, yeah, it was cool to see. Yeah, congrats to LeBron. Yeah, you know, I guess he's that great. I just I don't watch basketball at all anymore. I stopped. 30 How many years championships ago. has he won? A couple. Yeah, I'm not, not sure six. Not many? six, right? No. No. How many did Kareem win? I don't know. I want to say Kareem won four. I might be wrong. Maybe LeBron one. has four. How many? Has Kareem, four is good. Have? LeBron's an amazing player. He just doesn't seem like like that leader type. Like you know what I mean? Like he doesn't seem Kareem like the has type six. that six. Six. Okay. Builds a team around him. He just seems like he's very good at basketball. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. And he's got that barbershop show on HBO. That's right. That's a success. He does. Yeah. He was in uh, the Amy Schumer movie. He was good in Train. He was very good in Train. Very yeah. good in Train yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's got a lot going on, you know. He does. Yeah. All time scoring leader. And maybe it yeah, does you change really you. It up there. There it is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Put a bow on it, huh? When you're a high school student, and then the next thing, and you're being said that you might be one of the best to ever play, and then it kind of works out that way. Maybe it is hard to. And stay then yeah, grounded. you go in and you're oh, immediately you are. Can you imagine? Didn't he scored twenty five his first game or something. His first game he had. He yeah. was immediately the guy that everybody hoped he would be. Yeah. Like, yeah. can you imagine being a, a junior and a senior in high school and being like, you know, you're better than most people in the NBA? Sure. You can't imagine that. Sure. My mother told me you can be anything you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's exactly the same. I think as as a child star in television right. or music or anything. It's just a lot to handle that early and maybe even more so because of the pressure i mean game pressure he also hand he did handle the it's crazy like i built bar when he was doing it like he had four years of college to get used to that kind of pressure like of being yeah. televised and of, of, of being you know right out of high school lebron just went into it and fucking handled all that pressure yeah, and say and did it it became yeah. this leading scorer mm-hmm. yeah insane when they started the same season, I was like, big deal. This is LeBron James character. Carmelo Anthony's my guy. Is he still playing? I don't know. He was all right, though. I don't think he is. Or if he is, he's on the bench somewhere. He yeah. married He married Lala Vasquez for a little, for a hot minute. He's probably worth money. I'm sure he's got money. Oh, yeah. He made a lot know, of money. Play, but players fuck up a lot. A lot of athletes waste their money. He made a lot of money. Yeah. Did he save it? Don't know. He Alan got Iverson, a divorce. I heard Allen Iverson's broke. But I don't know if that's true. Allen Iverson struck me as an irresponsible guy. And he probably didn't make quite as much as these guys. Different time. Yeah, yeah, different time for sure. These athletes have to hate it. Like, on some level, like, when you just miss it. Like, a guy from the 40s could probably handle it because it's so far removed. No, but, but if you retired in 2003. Right, early 2000s. Uh, or the that's 90s, it. you're like, fuck. And you're looking at these endorsement deals. Yeah. And you're looking at the Hollywood that comes after it. And you're looking at how it's just big the contracts are now. Yeah, that's... That's got to bother you when you realize you're five to seven years early. Yeah. Because you were almost there. And LeBron can't do anything. He can't do anything. Around. He can't go to the movies. Like, there's nowhere that guy can go where everybody in the room doesn't know who he is immediately. Immediately. He can rent out a theater. He's probably Seinfeld got a th- does that on the road. I've he's heard. probably got a theater in his house. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes you like to go out. You want to get the popcorn. He's got you, popcorn. You want to actually... House. You want to yeah, be a person. How do I, you do yeah. that? Or do you just have guys around you that don't... Eat? You might book out a theater and just have all your friends go. That's what I'm saying. But then everybody would see him going in the theater. Yeah, but again, there's a back entrance and there's ways to get around oh. that if you're him. Yeah. That's like going to Disney World, but being escorted onto all the rides. It's like, it's not quite. No, it's cool. Yeah. I've done yeah. it. It's so awesome. Have rules. Yeah. But it's not, the, it's not like the same. No, it's better. I've heard Jerry, I've, I've, I've <laughs> so heard Jerry will rent it? out a theater. Oh, I love it. I've heard Jerry will rent out a theater with his opener and just go to a movie, the two of them. Ah. Uh, which seems like a fun thing to do. Does he rent out the theater or do they just have to buy all the tickets? And that's what I mean. That might be the same that. thing, yeah. right? 
I know be. AMC's still doing private rentals. They so, do? Yeah, maybe he just does that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a way we can. Yeah, a few hundred bucks. I rent that. I pretend I'm renting at the theater sometimes. I just go to very unpopular show times. And the opener probably goes out and gets the popcorn. Go get go get this. We'll pick up like. the milk duds. Yeah. Don't spit in them. Why would the opener spit in Jerry's milk duds? Because fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of, oh, uh, John in Virginia. What's up, John? What's up, fellas? You know what, Jim? I haven't watched the NBA in a while either. But have you seen LeBron play in the last year or so or look at any of the YouTube videos where he's flopping and falling all over himself? It's embarrassing. He's such a pussy. I have not seen it. I haven't even heard Come that. On, but not, again, I don't follow it at all. So Not LeBron. Well, I don't either, and that's why. I, I was a, a high school player, so I used to like basketball, whatever. I'm old as shit now. But if you watch him, anytime someone touches him, he looks <laughs> like he's an Argentinian playing in the World Cup. He's yeah. such a bitch. And Take the a guy's gym. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, fellas. No, no, no. You, you. <laughs> but hasn't that become like part of the game? I think it's. A, I think it's a strategy. It's like. Uh, it's like when people take advantage of tax laws. Yeah, you're just drawing fouls. <laughs> right. But it's really become part of the game. Yeah. In, like the last. I still find yeah. it irritating though. Like, like it's like at this video. It's like if you, yeah, it's like figuring out you don't have to pay your taxes. Like should you pay your taxes? I guess. But if there's a law that you can yeah. use that says you don't have to, you use it. When so. Trump said it's because the laws allowed it, like he was right, and. Hate him, but it's why don't you pay that? Because I'm smart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah you can audit right. me all day. No, I, I didn't break any laws. Politics, because we'll f- I'll be arguing with you about that. No, but- no, no. It was just that was his response to something about the income tax, and like he's not the one who made the laws. He was basically <laughs> talking to people who had made those laws. I just generally mean yeah. people taking advantage sure. of rules that exist when you're allowed to. Yeah, it's like how do you can't. Yeah, can't fault so, it. That's, a, that's a false equivalency. If you really watch the NBA, Jim, you're perfect. For Some it. of these are a little I, overblown. I yeah. mean, I let, look, he's got he's taking a bump. Okay, he's taking a bump. He's got to give yeah. the audience something to watch. Trump, Trump is a clown. That's that's completely that's, irrelevant. That's, that's, not, the that, that's, that's the not the point. That's not the point, man. No. I don't want to get into politics. No, either, not at Jim, all. Watch a video. Just have one of your boys look up. Look we're watching, we're watching it right flopping. now. We're watching it right now. Oh yeah, and he is he is flip That is not flopping. part of the game. It's become part of the game because all these NBA players do is sit there and worry about Instagram. Have you seen their hair and the tights they wear? These dudes got fucking blonde extensions and shit, and they're like six foot five NBA players looking around worrying about their hair. It's embarrassing. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, Dennis Rodman was a trendsetter. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he started that <laughs> yeah, whole yeah, thing. He, yeah. yeah, I mean, he was kind of cool. You know, he was gangster and he played hard. Dennis Rodman's the were, fucking man. He, these dudes wear tights, and they got man bones that are even beyond man bones. First Those of all, have nothing, hell, I, nothing wrong with a muscular man with long hair wearing tights. That I mean, <laughs> to me, that sounds pretty manly. I, I think Jim will probably like that. I guess it's kind of sexy. If you, if you, I mean, I don't care. It's nothing about gay or straight, but they look ridiculous. <laughs> They yeah, they just around the court worrying about what, what Instagram is going to look like instead of playing defense and sweating. But it does show you that Thank even you, on John. that level, <laughs> even on that level, it, it, the social media, everybody wants to look good on social sure, media. These... these guys have to worry about stuff you and I don't. Like, I don't have girls blowing me and then spitting it into an ice cup to try to pour it into their pussy and get pregnant. You know? <laughs> these guys have a whole other set of problems to, to, to navigate. You know what my favorite part of the game is? Uh, both the men in the shower. <laughs> Love that. Love that. <laughs> Clean up, they, boys. Clean why up. Why don't they televise that? <laughs> yeah. Clean up. <laughs> I want to be a locker room reporter just in case you stumble upon something. No, I love him. They do it in football and basketball both now. The fashion show before oh, the game. Yeah. Love the fashion show before the game. Joe Burrow. Oh, when they walk in, dressed to the nines. They're wearing sneakers, but they have other sneakers that they're carrying, and it's just flex, 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 Yeah, flex. No, I don't like that. Look at that. And this is how you know. But, I mean, that's the thing now. I have 100%. Yeah. And you realize they're doing very well financially. Yeah. Who's Joe Burrows? He's the quarterback of the Bengals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't. But he's kind of made a name for himself for dressing flashy. For what yeah. he wears. Oh, okay. George, James, yeah. George Kittle walks in. He's got a vintage wrestling tee and some sick sneakers on. You like George Kittle? He's the fucking best, dude. <laughs> he rolls. From the Niners? Yeah. I don't care for him. What? No. Why? You know. It's not his fault that Dak choked. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. You know Dak why, choke? You know why the Cowboys lost. I just don't like him. Choke. Well, maybe. You like when he does this? <laughs> Zero miedo. Zero miedo. Is he a wrestling guy? 
I think he likes wrestling. <laughs> no, yeah, I had no idea. you didn't know that. No, 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 oh. no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. You just liked him. He's my favorite football player. <laughs> I like him. I like that guy on the Kansas City Chiefs that said, no, you're all shut your mouth. Travis Kelsey? <laughs> yep, I knew his name. <laughs> I think they should bring back my Reg- other Reggie player. Bars. Oh, I liked Reggie Bars. Oh, they yeah. yeah. They were good. They That's... should bring them back. They'd be the candy for the for the ages. I think so. Nougat nuts. You'd probably buy a Reggie Bar if you want one. I what? mean, I don't know if they'd still be good. <laughs> I wouldn't know if I would eat one, but I would love to. I, I bet you a Reggie Bar, if they came back, would be the hit of the, of the decade. Do you know... <laughs> Look at George Kittle wearing a Bloodline t-shirt in that bottom picture. This one right here? Oh, yeah. He knows what's up. Who is that? That's the tribal chief. Okay. That's not who I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. But I, I didn't We like, were looking at different things. But I didn't like Uncle Travis going, oh, who is that? <laughs> Hubba, Hubba, Hubba. Oh, hot number. <laughs> Who's the hot number on George's arm, huh? That's a, that's one step above going, woo, <laughs> shaking your hand like something hot's been touching it. There's the Reggie bar. They were orange, though, not red. There we go. That's a Reggie bar. That's a fucking Reggie See, bar. See, but that goes back. Did they back. bring him back and, that, like, change um, it to Did they bring him back? They should have left him orange. Orange is better. That, I was That's just a Reggie that. bar. It's better. Do, do you, uh, but that goes back to your thing about the endorsements and stuff. Do you know how much money a player would get for having their own candy bar now as opposed to how much he must have got for Reggie bar? I know. Well, now it's McDonald's meals. Oh, uh, Back and they're then, only around get, for a week, and they get paid, you know, seven figures. He I'm probably sure. got ten grand back then to use his likeness for a year or something. Exactly. Now Travis Scott is like, yeah, you can sell a cheeseburger with fries and barbecue sauce. I'll take seven million dollars, please. Yeah. I remember Wade ba- Wade Boggs had a bar when he hit three fifty two. Wade Boggs ruled. Did he? Yeah. I, I distinctly remember that as a kid. Yeah. You know what Wade? That doesn't look, but the Wade Boggs 352 bar? Yeah, it rolls right off your tongue. What a terrible name for a candy. <laughs> I mean, it was probably, you know, locally. I guess. But the Reggie bar just said, has him swinging, and it's a Reggie bar. It's easy to say. Yeah, this one's got Wade swinging, and it's the Wade Boggs 352 bar. That's Dude, cool. Yeah, very difficult to say. I loved Wade Boggs as a kid. He was a man. That was my guy. That was my number one guy. I never loved him as a kid because he played for the Red Sox. I loathed Wade Boggs. Oh, did your dad like Yankees. Wade Boggs? Well, Is no, why? yes, but he I ate also chicken every day. He's OCD. I course. didn't. I didn't <laughs> realize that he ate chicken every day. He's OCD, and he's best friends with Mister Perfect, or he was. Oh, and I didn't know all that till later. Somebody gave me a starting lineup action figure when I was like maybe four years old, and it was a Wade Boggs Red Sox toy. And from that point on, I was do or die. I was like, "This is my guy." Is he still f- best friends with him? With Mr. Perfect? Yeah. I mean, spiritually. Well, he was... Mr. Uh, passed on. Oh. Wade was at that roast I did, that thing where I should have went to the Kiss thing instead. Wade uh, Boggs was actually at that. That's sick. I didn't get to meet him, though. I've never met what? Wade. Because he was... Did you miss the Kiss photo and Wade Boggs? Jeez. Well, he might have been a little tipsy. I mean, if Wade <laughs> Boggs can't enjoy himself at a show, I don't know who can. I forget who knew him. I'm going to guess that Mike Halton knows him. He's probably a legend there in Florida now. Sure. Wade Boggs showing up. He was also in one of the greatest Simpsons episodes ever. He wasn't in the softball episode. Yes, he was. He? Oh yeah. Yeah. He got in a We're fight talking with, uh... way. Dude, oh. and how about that time <laughs> yes, he, he was on uh, Curbing Enthusiasm? Curbing Enthusiasm. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that app. Yep, that's it. Where he it's drops the ball, he catches the baby. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, that was a good one too. <laughs> Just TV shows we like, huh? <laughs> That's right. Wade Boggs was on the softball team. Yeah, and then I think he didn't play because he got into an argument with Mo about who was the greatest English prime minister. <laughs> That's right. Who did he like? Do you remember? No, I don't. That's, I, I forgot that. I remember uh, uh, what's his name got arrested for being from New York and had to stay in jail. Oh, this is. Let's see. Number four. Look, well, hang on. Oh, uh, Travis is there. watching things for pleasure. I got a lot of things going yeah. on. And I say <laughs> That's England's right. greatest prime minister <laughs> was Lord Palmerston. Hit the elder. Lord Palmerston. <laughs> Hit the elder. Okay, you asked for it, Boggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's showing him, Bonnie. Hit the elder. Lord Palmerston. <laughs> <laughs> Boggs couldn't show up to the game no. because of that. Was that really Wade Boggs? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They did an episode where uh, uh, Mr. Burns was starting a, a softball team. You know, he was he was coaching. It was like a employees. He runs the uh, nuclear power plant, but he really wanted to win, so he just hired a bunch of MLB players 
to come in and be on yeah. the softball team. And then right before the game, every single one of them had a reason that they couldn't make the game. Uh, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., um, he had uh, tonic. Yeah, it he was, was drinking too much tonic. It's like there's a putty in my mouth and everyone's <laughs> invited. And his head grew so big that he couldn't. He had gigantism. Don Mattingly got thrown off the team because of his sideburns. He would save his sideburns. Which was a joke on, obviously. Steinbrenner. Yeah. Um, Ozzie Smith fell down a hole. Ozzie Smith, yeah. He went to a like a sideshow, and it was like going the unknown hole, and he was just in a vortex. Who Mike, would, Mike Sosha, I think. Or was it Jose Canseco? Kept uh, saving all that stuff from a fire. Yes, that was Canseco, I believe. <laughs> but they were all... They Canseco all kept voices. running into a... You know what? They were all actually doing their voices. Yes. Oh, they were. Yeah. Okay. Right. Daryl Strawberry. Yeah, the, at one point they start chanting, Daryl, and you just see a single teardrop go down Daryl Strawberry's face. It's like one of the legendary early right. Simpsons episodes. That's oh, old. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It, it's probably one of the first... Classics. Real class... Like, Yeah. Forever classics. What third, season? Third season. Third season. Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, third season. What yeah. year is that? 92. Simpsons run of, like, Untouchable is probably season three to season 11. Yep. I wonder if Tracy Ullman had any stake in that at all, or if she just had she them on her show. On the yeah, you, you wonder if there was any piece of that, or did she just feature them in her show? Some kind of story by It was or... even, like, her call. Yeah, it might have just been yeah, maybe. Network, yeah. yes. James L. Brooks had this yeah. short that the network was like, we're going to throw this on. During her show, right? Don't know. She fucking, uh, th- no, she gets no credit for having had that be a part of her. Like, Not really. You never hear about Tracy Ullman. No. Well, like, she gets no credit for like, like she should be so much yes, I agree. more famous than she is. Yeah, I don't, She was great on Curb. I remember season. her. Curbing Enthusiasm? Curbing Enthusiasm. Who was she last year on the show? She was uh, She was the politician that, that, that Larry was trying to like, uh, seduce. That like, was that was Tracy. Trace, I didn't even realize it was her. Yeah. Oh, she was great. Yeah, she's so legendary. Yeah. When Larry had to fuck her. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Cause for the zoning law, because uh-huh. he wouldn't get sued. <laughs> but then she finds the out fence. that Larry didn't vote, and that would have turned everything around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't know that was Tracy. Maybe I did. Don't I forgot? Right. She's great. Yeah. I always thought she was British. I think she's British. Is she? I'm always amazed when British people can do American accents so well, I don't even know. Lots of them do. Yeah. Andrew Lincoln did, Walking Dead. That's right. Yeah. Carl. Well, the governor was British in Walking Dead. Like, everybody in Walking Dead is British. Yeah, everyone on the wire is British. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Idris Elba. The, uh, the, um, oh, uh, the Carcetti is Scottish, I think. Or oh, maybe he's British. No, he might be British. McNulty. McNulty. <laughs> Remember when The yeah. Walking Dead did... Bring the... me crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when The Walking Dead sure. did that governor storyline and then they had nothing after? Uh, I mean nothing. They really got it was a mid season finale. That was the that was last the that was the peak. That was the peak. Yeah. And then they tricked everybody. Years later they were like, Okay, we're back. Here's Negan. And everybody was like, Oh, okay. 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 And then they started the season, and Negan was like, okay, even though I killed that guy with a barbed wire baseball bat, you guys want to be friends? And they were like, yeah, I guess. And it was like, this So is... he was a good guy then? It, nah, it... I think he became one. Dude, the, the Negan arc was Terrible. the biggest peter out maybe in television history. He was so immediately underused. Yeah. He was the coolest thing on television for a hot minute, and then nothing. I started watching uh, The End of Us. The Last of Us. Last of Us. So I watched the first episode last night. It's good. It is good, right? I don't love the fact that it's a little too dystopian, but I do like, I like Pablo Pascal very much. And I, and I like how, like, I don't always like the rebellion, like the fucking, the fireflies angle. I was like, ugh. Oh, yeah. But you uh, need it. I know. You know what I mean? You need that. It's almost though, like I know that if that happened, and it's great how they finally found a new way for people to get sick. But right, if it happened, I know that we would be a mess. I don't think we would be quite that dystopian that Ivy is growing on everything. But it's also, thirty years after it happened, twenty years, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. That's why I'm thinking. By then, we would have figured something out in twenty years. Well, yeah, but they were killing everybody. Don't forget. I know, and I like that they were, you know, the, the way they would just dispose of people. There's no cure for it. 
Yeah, it, I mean, I think I think that they well, set it up very well too right. with the 1968 uh, talk television uh, a television talk show. It was it was really so you, good. they didn't have to get into the explanation. You just saw it happening. I thought I thought when it first broke, and this is episode one, so spoilers, spoilers, but it's three weeks old. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. So if you don't want to listen, turn it off now. I thought I thought it was very. I thought that the dystopian nature of the whole thing was really well set up when you realized that they were going to kill Pedro Pascal, even though they knew he wasn't sick. Mm -hmm. That they were just killing everybody. They were like, no, this whole we're going to. We don't know. We know you're not sick. The guy looked at him and said, sorry. So. If they're like that, when they shoot his daughter. Well, no, no, they didn't know he wasn't sick. I don't think because that was the moment it was happening. They didn't know how to. He said, said, "I'm yeah, not said sick." I'm not sick, and they weren't willing to take that chance. And the oh, guy, of course, yeah, the but guy they didn't looked know. at it. The guy looked at him and said, "Sorry." I mean, that was he knew. Yeah. There's a big difference. I mean, you see the people that are sick. They're going like this, blah, 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 blah. and Pedro Pascal is like, "Hello, sir. I'm actually not sick at all." And he was like, "Fuck it." Yeah, I, I didn't. I think that I, was the point that they were killing people. Everyone, regardless. everyone who was outside this perimeter was just getting it. I mean, they were bombing cities. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's like they're they're, yeah, they're and that's and then, they set up you know fenced in communities twenty years later, and the infrastructure has been destroyed. Destroyed. I just felt like it's a little too dystopian for me. Like the girl, and again, I liked it, but the girl, like I don't like the the you know. The leader of the rebellion. It reminded me too much of Anna, Anna Lucia from Lost. If the it tough follows, chick. I was like, Ugh. if it follows the game as well as it's following it so far, the Fireflies are not like a. Ma it's not. Right, right, no, I, I think know. it's just a device to yeah. sure to, to show this. I didn't hate. And there it are to, some. There are some parts us. of that show, especially the first two episodes, where it is unbelievably exactly like the game. That's like, what people they are did saying. People such are such an incredible job with the sets. The game. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's basically The Last of Us is a game. The Last of Us is a video. Oh, game. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Did yep. not know. The first Fan season is the first game. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that makes Fans sense. Fans of the game are like It's incredible super psyched. how some of these sets oh, are just, okay. they look exactly the same. And like the the people, the, the dialogue. The, the people the, the dialogue some of the dialogue is word for word, for shot. shot for shot. Okay, that makes more incredible. sense to word me. Word for word, bar for bar. The fact that it's dystopian <laughs> makes it if if, if Oh yeah, this following... is a video game from twenty seventeen. There you go. Okay, like, I didn't yeah. know that. It's crazy too that the video game is from twenty seventeen and you watch the show and you think it's like oh, COVID. Right, you think it's based on the right, but it's not. We no, just look at it no. differently because of the COVID thing. I, I did, and I didn't feel like they were trying to force a message. That they're just showing you this is what would happen. It's what could happen. What could happen? Sure, I like that that they, they. And again, if you haven't seen it, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Um, <laughs> you in, gave them give them a few seconds. You're good. I You're hate, better than I me. I don't like when You're things are real. Eh, but for what? I mean, it's brand new. Like if it was a year old, I'd go all right. But it's brand new. I don't. Plus, want to we're only it. doing first episode right now. You've only seen the first, right? Yeah, okay. and, and and the fact um, third they, episode is so good. Dude. I love that they killed her in the first. Episode. Oh, the daughter. Yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. I'm, I know neither. nothing about the game, and I'm glad. I wow! Thought, yeah, yeah. This is word. This is like shot yeah, for shot. They yeah, did such a good word job. They word did. Bar for yeah. Bar. yeah. I thought uh, that's a good game. Jesus, great graphics. It's maybe the best story of a game. They really Pablo Pascal is a perfect casting. Yeah, it's for really this. good casting. Mm -hmm. Yep. People are really happy with they it. They should that be. Yeah. The game. And people loved the game. Like Love, Travis this said, is one of the best games okay. I've ever played. Yep. The girls good. Better everyone, than everyone being cast is good. Oh, she looks different. Um, Spiced it up. T-shirts the same. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be about Pedro Pascal and his daughter because I never played this game. Games with stories. I don't have that kind of time. I, I never care. I would love to. Once my kids Wow, get older, she looks exactly like mm -hmm. her. Yeah, that's wild. Yep. It's awesome. This is a crazily This scene good. specifically, I, I'm watching and I'm like, this is this is the game. I'm like, oh, hang on. Yeah, it's, I don't want to see. Okay, so now that makes that makes sense to me. Knowing that it's a game, I I get it more. Okay. Did you love that they snuck in Ron Swanson's giggle? I did. There was one little point. I did. Yeah, yeah. That won't ruin anything because you don't know who Ron Swanson is. The no, giggle, nothing. I matters. love his dinners. <laughs> 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 Troy, huh? <laughs> He's a Swanson guy. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I will. Hungry man dinner jokes, always good. <laughs> you like them? Yeah. Because you I, don't know the show, but you know Hungry Man Dinner. Of course I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Who doesn't? A little cobbler reference. You think Troy could handle Last of Us? 
Should sure. I watch it? It's not bad. I mean, I, no, I, I like has, it more than I thought. I don't know. I think it's a little too dense for him. I disagree. He has trouble you taking do. in information. Yeah. But Troy also <laughs> likes stuff like with possible conspiracies or possible implications of the government Only doing if stuff. It's real. He couldn't get through the second season of The Sopranos. And that's he could crazy. barely get through the television ever. I'll yeah. get there. Well, he's he's busy. Busy. he could barely he's get through the first season. He's, he's not busy at all. Not Polly Walnut, he's not, why do you think Troy is like this fuck machine? All? You bring it up every day. <laughs> I'm not fucking anymore. Dude. I know. You bring it up every day. <laughs> You're reliving your old glories. He's just sitting there thinking about it. If you had the kind of memories Troy had, you wouldn't watch The Sopranos either. <laughs> you just sit on your couch just thinking about it. Bunch of no pussy getting chumps. You bring up Troy's sex life every single day. <laughs> you are living vicariously through my guy. Of course. For me, 10 years ago. Yeah, but still, if I had those memories 10 years ago, I wouldn't watch The Sopranos either. I would just reminisce. He's just thinking about all the juggalettes that he sexed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Troy, oh. you watch that show last night? No, I was thinking about all the sex I used I was, to have. I was thinking about all the juggalettes I hooked up with. Your girl comes in. What are you doing? Just sit on the couch smiling with a coffee in my hand. I would, yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah. Don't blame me. You do that? No, I don't know. It's called euphoric recall. Now we're getting real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just jerking off to the past. Yeah. You ever do that? Uh-huh. Troy? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, come on. Sometimes it's fun to jerk off to the past. It yeah, is. Look at an old picture or something. Like, God, shit, nice uh, gotta, fucking dumper. You gotta put all that away. That's man. the quote. I did. I did. That's that's the old quote. Remember when is the lowest form of conversation, but you could jerk off to it. You can. Yeah. And it's not even the lowest form of conversation. It's something good to talk about. You know who said it's the lowest form of conversation? People who have nothing interesting that happened in the past. Tony Soprano yeah. said it. It's Tony's quote. Tony's and he's, quote. he's getting it from somewhere. Tony got, well, he, well, but he was frustrated. He yeah, didn't he like, he didn't like yeah. the people he was talking to. He was cranky. He was oh, over it. Oh, okay. He was over it. It is a good line, though. It's a great line. Yeah. yeah. It's a great line to really take the wind out of somebody's sails yeah. who's reminiscing. What was what were they reminiscing they were, about? They were in Florida. It was like... Uh, Pauly babbling about something? I don't remember. If it, I think it was... I want to say it was... Uh, Someone getting whacked? I don't think anybody's getting whacked uh. in the scene. <laughs> I want to say he's getting real annoyed at Carmine Jr. And just saying... I mean, because Carmine Jr. was just so stupid. Yeah, he was. Just saying all the words incorrectly. Troy has no idea what we're talking about because it got too complicated for him. I'll finish it. I'll no, finish you won't. it. Finish it. It's, no, just, it's just the, the little minutia, the regular yes. little moments are the regular Masterful. In North Jersey, we'll have this one up your ass. Oh, it was Polly. I yeah. wasn't even born yet. <laughs> Please. Want to talk about stand up guys? Sorry, Beats. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. Hey, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> we got some more champagne. Hey, remember that yokel at the feast mounted off to your cousin? <laughs> this maniac threw a vat of hot oil right from the Zeppelin stand on his porch. You did that, John. Yep. A pound of sugar, he would have been done. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom, uh, okay. remember when we all rented that house down the shore with the bed bugs? <laughs> Summer of 78. Carlo, Silvio, so Frankie Napoli. Yeah, Place perfect. up the beach. Yeah. Sonny Spence from the Bronx rented it. Huh? That's where that hippie kid mysteriously drowned during that party. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> hey, Tom. There's prostitutes around. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You sure, T? You're being kind of quiet. Well, it's because, uh, remember when it's the lowest form of conversation. Oh, I put that tattoo on my yeah. chest. And he leaves. He's just annoyed that these guys are babbling. Wasn't this? He was starting to get worried about Paulie's big mouth. I think he was annoyed at Paulie's big mouth, and he was also he always tended to get annoyed when the conversation didn't revolve around reverence towards him. The fact that they were he doesn't like the old days that much because that's when he's a kid. You know what I mean? He gets insecure about his position as the leader. Yeah, but they're also talking about a guy who drowned and he's yeah, just, in front of the women, girl. Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing, Paulie? Yeah, you get that to... tattooed. I would get that tattooed that would on my be the chest. Second best oh, friend of Phil Leotardo, what a great! Ch- I would love to have I had dinner with Phil. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good- oh, <laughs> you talk about that stupid father in Tintola. <laughs> That's the other quote I would get tattooed on me. <laughs> I'm gonna that? go try to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> this dumb wife, father in Tintola says about Vito. I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> try, <laughs> try to take a shit. Yeah, uh, I wish he was alive, Frank Vincent. God bless him. <sighs> God bless his so soul. So many good things. Yeah, he was. Fucking Raging Bull. Guy's Guide to Being a Man's Man. Ah, you know, still. It was a good book. <laughs> it was a great book. I was happy we got him in for it. Hell yeah. Do the right thing. Yeah. Oh, he did most quotable guy ever. <laughs> okay, I don't know if uh, every quote. Uh... Are you kidding me? I stand on my balcony sometimes and just play that. <laughs> <laughs> 
He did not mind being an asshole in a film. Loved or a television it. And he was show. amazing at it. He was very good at it. He played that guy. Yes. That guy who's racist and angry and like deep Brooklyn. He you played never that got, guy better than anybody. And you never got tired of it. Every time he did, he was more and more likable every time. Yeah. He, there was something about this guy. You just loved him. He was funny. I'll tell you what Last of Us did. Last of Us uh, shifted my perspective on the Leonardo DiCaprio controversy that's going around everywhere. You know, people are mad at his age difference with his girlfriend. Fuck these people. Mind your fucking business, you hens. <laughs> Shut up. It's weird. I didn't think this would be your position. Well, it, because it's fake. It's almost like, oh, she was a... If at, at, at 18, you're old enough to join the military. People say you're mature enough for gender decisions and all that. And I, all that is fine. But if you go out with Leonardo DiCaprio, it's just inappropriate. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, he's. Uh, How old is Madonna? How old is her boyfriend? Well, that's uh, a good I don't know, but nobody's really given Cher shit for. How old being- No, that, she's 40 years older. And that's only because that guy's in 35 and 76, I think. Oh, and that's a little. Because genders are switched. Of, of, of course that's Yeah, it. but he's 35. But, I mean, if, even if there's a 40-year age gap, 35 and 19 is... But it's just the idea. It's the fakeness of the, oh, how could she, How old is Madonna? Her, her boyfriend's in her uh, 20s. She is casually dating okay. a 23-year-old. I mean, how old is she? 64. Yeah, so that's okay. 23 and 19 is not that different. No. And even 35, it's the idea that somebody that much older and that much younger... That's just four years for that guy. She's, yeah. She's 19. Of course. Yeah. But no one is saying a word about that. So that's that's why my position is go fuck yourselves and shut up. Nobody was mad about Anna Nicole Smith and her lover. Well, that was true love. That was they awesome. They got married. That's a good point. They did get married. In that's fairness, she didn't deserve that money and he didn't deserve those giant fat tits. <laughs> 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 yeah, so. What but, does Andrew Darnell do? Sorry, Sam. What does he do for a living? I heard your boyfriend. Uh, I don't know. Let me find out. What do that's you do a for 40, a living character? That's a 41 year He's a model. Day. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah. yeah, I don't blame either one of them. No, you I know love the fact that she loves young dick. Good for you. You know what's going on there. Good for you, Madge. But do you think the media would be okay if he said that he doesn't let age affect his decisions? Um, No. Leo? Yeah. That'd not be great really. if he said that. If Madonna said that, and they were like, oh, okay. Of course, because yeah. it's all fake. The whole thing's a lie. Nobody cares. They're just looking for a reason to complain. Well, she's not. <laughs> she's old enough to be handed a rifle and sent to Afghanistan. Shut the fuck up. Did they say that? Once oh. you can go to war, you can date Leo. And Leo's like, this is great news. Well, it's just this its this childish, jealous thing. You People, think they're hating? They're just jealous. Mm. It's, it's a right? bunch of men <laughs> pretending to be outraged and a bunch of women, oh my God, yeah, she's young and beautiful. Sorry. Whose side are you on, Troy? I think it's fine. Of course it is. <laughs> Look how attractive she is. She's oh, a I knockout. Didn't even that. I didn't even... I didn't even... <laughs> Take that into consideration. That's true. She's a ten. Anyone complaining about it? It's it's just fake. It's a reason to act like you're you're you you have higher. Mo- Shut your fucking mouth. Shut up. It was uh, funny to me. Thank you. It's, and it wasn't anything you did. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> that uh, somebody posted like a photo of uh, Leo and his girlfriend, and it said forty eight and nineteen. And then they posted a photo of uh, Pedro Pascal and his co-star who plays like, you know, the young girl that he's sure. transporting. And they're 47 and 19. Yeah. He's old enough to be her. Yeah. Although she, oh, that, in real life. Yeah, but in, in real life. In, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, I know. People just, yeah. it's funny. I, I love when the young generation acts like they're 75. Oh, how could you? <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. That's not appropriate. Yeah. Shut up. What do you think, Troy? Good for him. And good for her. She landed one of the biggest stars in history. Yeah, good for her, too. I hope she likes boats. Yeah, she's living well because of him. Of course. Sure. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. I don't give a, not, I don't give a shit Madonna's dating that guy, either. She might be able to go on a boat with Jack Nicholson and eat submarine sandwiches. <laughs> you know why the That'd guys awesome. like women who are 19 that look like that? Because they look better than other women. Do you know why she likes DiCaprio? Why? Two reasons. A, he's better looking than most guys, he and is. he's fucking DiCaprio. He's got a boat. He's got a dad bod. Do he's think, got a boat with Jack Nicholson do on Do you it. think she's dating a 48-year-old guy who fucking works in a bank and makes 48 grand a year? No. 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 He doesn't have a boat with Jack Nicholson on it? No. And his titties? Good for Jack. 
Jack Rule. Give, give a fuck. Real titties. <laughs> he's the best. Those are rich guy titties. He doesn't care. No. Those are actual titties. Actual He's Nicholson. Breasts. He's eating a breasts. sub, and he's making them bigger. He's eating a sub sandwich. He should. He's eating that. That's a that's a foot long. And that he's, is he's a sub. He's not even sub. cutting it in half. And he's, not, and, and he's not wearing a shirt. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> they go, do you want a regular or a jumbo? He goes, we're going to go jumbo. Should I cut it so you can have some now and some later? No. No, no, no it's just lunch. You know why he doesn't care about his tits? Because he looks at his driver's license, and it says Jack Nicholson. That's right. That's right. Having some pizza. Good for him. He eats a 12-inch <laughs> smoke sub, has two slices of pizza, and then he goes, what are we doing for dinner? He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> he's not watching his carbs. No, he is not. Yeah. You know, he's watching him go right down his throat. <laughs> yeah. And look at him. He's him. just yelling, you think you're the king? Hey, Leo, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> and Leo's like, yeah, you are, Jack. Now let me take that girl of yours. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't like your Jack impression. Well, it wasn't a fo- it wasn't an impression. That's why I didn't. Do you want to try it again? <laughs> try it. Try one more time. Try I, again. I, yeah, I, hang on. I, let me bring I, up the photos. All right. There you go. Okay. I didn't like that. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let me let me, let me see because I didn't even really <laughs> reset. Yeah, because you could tell I wasn't really. Yeah, get reset yeah. and get into it. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay. And action. Leo. You think you're the king of the world? I'm the king of the world. <laughs> I just don't have any problem with them dating. I think we should just yeah. move. Just We're not going to do the. No. You have a preference on the. Let's, let's move on. Move past okay. it. Yeah. All right. Let's walk past it. Trav? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Sorry, I was reading something. What? <laughs> Just trying to distract yourself from. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not hearing. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I thought I kind of nailed it uh, the second yeah, time. No. I'll go back and listen to the replay. Yeah, yeah. All, right. Right. All right. Sure. Distractions happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at him with the fucking lotion on his head. You want me to rub that in for you, Jack? No. No, I really don't. It's so great. Big short, off his shorts. <laughs> Big giant fat guy shorts. <laughs> He's just a man. Would you hang out with him without a shirt? Oh. Uh. It's all I would do is just look at his tits and I'd put lotion on them. What if he wanted you? You want some fucking lotion lathered on those things, Jack? What if, what if he wanted you to take your shirt off? Take your shirt off, Yeah, too, I would. With Jack, I would. Yeah. Because I wouldn't care. Take off your pants, too. Let this no fucking, problem. let this dumb bitch think I'm fat. She's right. I have side blubber. Yeah. You know what? I'm talking to Jack. I got a boat with Jack Nicholson on it. I'd take a picture with him shirtless with both of our side fat and tits out and I'd post it. You would post it. In a second. That's Jack. Look at these two titty having fucking zilches. <laughs> Except one of them's Jack. One of them's and one Jack. of them's with Jack. And one of them is the zilch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he went through that whole sub. He didn't care. No. I wonder what was on it. It's probably good. Yeah. Probably a lot too. Oh, probably Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Italian sub. Yeah. Is he 84? He's like 84, right? Somebody probably asked him which meat he wanted. He picked both. Both. No oil and vinegar. Mayo. I mayo. like oil and vinegar and mayo. mayo. 85. Oil and vinegar and mayo. 84. What a He'll be 86 in April. He's the best. He's the best. His friends are worried about him. Oh, because he's been Why? isolated, he likes right? Because he likes to have too much fun. He just doesn't leave his house anymore. Yeah. They're worried he's going to die like Brando. Alone, fat. Yeah, he's probably a legend. Obese. Yeah. But I think it's probably, when you see him at the Laker game, people just talk about how fat he is. That's why well, he, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't been to a Laker, game. Laker game in two years now. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he's worried about COVID, too, like at his age, and he might have some comorbidities, as they say. He That's might be true. a little nervous because he's not in great shape. I bet. I think I read. You think he's got comorbidities? No. Oh, because of the the obeseness? Probably, yeah. Obese fat. <laughs> I think it, somebody said a couple of years ago that he is the type of person that's having a real hard time not being the guy anymore. You know? Oh, interesting. Oh. And like when you're 87 and you're not the guy anymore. But he's but old. he doesn't understand. It's probably Brando's problem. You're not the too. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're yeah. not the fucking. You're not the shit anymore. But they, he doesn't understand that in, you are still the guy. Like you're not the one all the young people are talking about. But the people that they're talking about worship you. You can't undo what you've done. You're Jack. Like it's it's literally you. You, you don't see it because you're him. But yeah. You're on a level. You're you're in a different place than the rest of them are. You can't go any higher up the ladder. That's right. And, and you can't, the legacy is the legacy. People just want to sit around you because you're Jack. Doesn't right. matter. Right. Doesn't matter if you're making the movies anymore. No one gives a fuck. Right. You're just not the it guy, but it's not about being the it guy. It's like bigger than that now. You, it, it's bigger. And but it's, it's also realizing that you're old. Yeah, and it's yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. you're being embarrassed com- with how you look. Yeah. You have to get comfortable with 
the fact that you're old. And, and I maybe don't think he's one of the guys. He probably has to work to fuck mo- like not. I mean, models, but like when you're talking to these pretty girls and they're, they're swooning over these young actors, and he's just the old guy telling tales. They're like, oh, it, I maybe mean, that's I, hard. I yeah. feel like yeah, he's done with that. He's eighty. He's gonna be eighty six. Like, maybe yeah. Yeah. But also, like he would, ha- he should eat less sub sandwiches. Yeah, his health he probably is probably doesn't not want good. To. Is that his son? Next that's to him? his yes, son. That's yeah. his son. His that's, son looks exactly like him. The article said that's one of the only people that he still like sees regularly. This is is his. He doesn't want to face reality, which is that he's getting old and he can't eat like that and it's not healthy. Yeah, he doesn't less go subs. out. He just he just stays in his house. It's probably a nice place. He's probably got a great house. Oh yeah, it's probably that awesome. looks like him. Why the eyebrows? Yeah, his yeah. son's eyebrows. Wow, he's got that same shaped head. That squared off, like... Yeah, he wasn't well, even at the LeBron game? Like, that's crazy. No, he hasn't, he hasn't, been, he hasn't a, been to a game mm-hmm. since October 2021. You think he's got an arcade in his house? I bet he's got an arcade. Yeah, he's probably got, like... Uh, like the two-ups? Oh, that'd be awesome. I wouldn't leave either. No, he's probably got Street Fighter 2. If he had Street Fighter 2, I'd be Blanca all day. I would never leave. For sure. Why, I wonder why he wouldn't go to that game, if it, unless it's just a weight thing. Like, maybe he's embarrassed he with how he, he looks. He doesn't go to games anymore. Yeah. Some people think he's got dementia now. Like he's just he's old. Not I think working, yeah. I think he got very old very fast. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You know? Do you think he's got NBA jam at his house? Oh, for sure. So then why do he, would he have to go to a game? You know he's how many on points? Fire. Yeah. Yeah. No bricks. <laughs> no bricks. Yeah, he hasn't been seen out since October twenty twenty one. Wow. Stays in his Mulholland Drive mansion. That's what that movie was about. He's he's in touch with certain relatives, especially Ray, who he's so proud of. That's his son. His son, yeah. Uh, but socializing days are long gone. Ray is a wild name to name a kid. I don't know anybody that still names their kid Ray. Is it Raymond, I guess, right? Raymond, Raymond. sure. Yeah. Yeah, his kid. You don't hear a lot of Rays anymore. Not as much, no. He doesn't want to face reality anymore. I get it. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is the mind might be slipping because he's not taking acting roles and he could get them if he wants them. Sure, he's retired. No, that's why he stopped taking them because he couldn't remember his lines anymore. And Brando, Brando was just having the lines read to him, but again, it was just money. There was a funny uh, scene in the making of the Godfather series, you know, that is based on that book you read that they yes. have in Paramount Plus, where they show Brando on set and they show one of the actors with a poster board taped to him. Though there's fo- f- film, there's video. Uh, but I mean, just like watching oh, yeah. the reenactment of sure. it, it's like, yeah, it was Duvall. There's a, there's a moment yeah, where pissed. Duvall is. Oh, Duvall didn't like it. I don't think any of them liked the fact that like they had a tape shit on their chest so that the other actor could read it. Yeah, but they were all young actors and it was Brando. I mean... Brando was in a weird spot, though, in that era. Like, people weren't sure about Brando. That's like true. He wasn't... That was the role that kind of tipped him over and put him into, like, legendary, like, oh, now he's this guy. Oh, physically he's fine, but his mind is gone. Okay. That's what they're saying, the Mulholland Drive community. Yeah, they probably all know and if they other. think physically is fine, he's fine, but his mind is gone, his mind must really be gone. <laughs> Why? What do you got to say that for? I mean, because his physicality is not what it used to be, is all I'm saying. These pictures are years old. He may have gotten in shape. What shape? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't Grubhub Subway sandwiches. He definitely Grubhub Subway, Subway sandwiches. You just get addicted to food. Brando was such a food addict, he took an axe and fucking broke the chain on his refrigerator. They had put a chain on his refrigerator. He just couldn't stop eating. They shouldn't have given him the axe. <laughs> the Brando. Oh, just yeah, sit in the house and eat. What are you going to do? No, you're right. It's a shame, though. He died before he should have. Brando? I think he How was in his 70s. How old was he? Was he 72, 73? wasn't that old. It was just because he was out of shape? And just, yeah, maybe he was just unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was super fat, yeah. He was 80. Oh, 80, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's old. Yeah, yeah, it's older than I thought. Especially when you don't take care of yourself. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. He didn't take care of himself? Brando? Yeah. They had to stop lighting the scenes that he was in. Well, Apocalypse Now they did, yeah. Yeah, so that people wouldn't see what he looked like. No, but that's such a good movie. Right, but they turned the lights off when he was on. <laughs> because of budget? No, no, they had the budget. He was too fat. Yeah. That movie went way over budget. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was they didn't want to show his body. Oh. Well, he hasn't acted in 13 years, Nicholson. Yeah, that was just like... It's, it, there's a simple reason. It's his memory loss. How do you know was his last movie? Yeah, and that, that wasn't. Sucks. I don't think that was planned to be his last movie. I mean, I can't imagine he can no longer remember. I got the one lines. more in me. <laughs> yeah. How, How do, do you know? know? <laughs> Starring Reese Witherspoon and Owen Wilson. Wow. Yeah. Wow. See, that's I'm pretty good. good. I'm that's pretty good. good with impressions. I knew that was Owen Wilson. I wonder wow. if it's dementia or is it normal old man stuff? 
Like Gene Hackman retired. At the time, it was probably just normal old man stuff. Like yeah. normal old man stuff is usually the beginning of dementia. Hackman stepped aside. I'm one of it's just because, plus you're Hackman. You've done it. Like he's another one. Yeah, so are you? When's the last? <laughs> Dude, I haven't. I know, but I mean, I the still. Can, I, unfortunately, I can still remember who I'm talking to. <laughs> 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 but he, uh, like, like, like Hackman is so great. But maybe he was finished, or he's like 90, right? Gene Hackman is he's really old, old, and he hasn't been seen in forever. No, right. he's. Probably, I want to say it's been 15 years, maybe early or 20 years almost. Uh, he is. Wow, he's 93. Yeah. He's what's, just, what's that basketball movie he was in that he was so good? Hoosiers. Hoosiers. Yeah, Hoosiers was good. Everything. No Way Out is a very... 1987, Kevin yeah. Costner, him, Sean Young, a guy named Will Patton. Great film. Yeah. 19 Years was his last movie. Yeah. And he ended on a classic. What? Welcome to Mooseport. <laughs> they never picked their last movies. No. no, they really don't. Welcome to Mooseport should not have been Gene Hackman's last movie. No. <laughs> he had the best laugh Ever his little like uh, his little uh, stinky wink chuckle when he drops he drops a little nobody winks better than Gene Hackman yeah watch Mississippi Burning that's Him and a great Willem movie Defoe, fucking great it, yeah but he did Welcome to Mooseport and then called it a career I yeah. mean after that yeah sure probably should have ended three years earlier Royal Tenenbaums at least that's a revered movie even behind enemy lines people respect yeah Crimson yeah. Tide with Denzel. Yeah, but that way it couldn't have been his last great. one. No, no, it was, no, good. It was, it was really good. Yeah, probably either Royal Tenenbaums or Behind Enemy Lines. Or The Birdcage. Well, The Birdcage was much earlier. Oh. <laughs> Which missed out on many films if he had done it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like saying Jack Nicholson should have stopped at Tim Burton's Batman. No, <laughs> like, he should have stopped it as good as it gets because... What if this is as good as it gets? See, it's getting even yeah. better and better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, he probably should have stopped at Departed, like, honestly. Mm -hmm. That should have been Nicholson's, like, boom. Yeah, he didn't have a better one after that. No. Yeah. What year was Departed? It's early 2000s, I want to say, right? I don't remember. I thought it was late late 90s, but... No, 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 no. It was the end of the 2000s. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 2006. Yeah. Oh, wow. Blair yeah. Than okay. Yeah. Um, Depart is amazing. Yeah, it was very good. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I was, so good. I love Martin Sheen in that movie. Martin Sheen, I thought he He's played like the, excellent. He plays the best, like empathetic everyman. Like he plays a regular guy, like in Wall Street. He played the the, the honest uh, union rep. He plays like a regular man. Yeah, every man. And makes them interesting. Matt Damon was so good in it because yeah. he played a villain so well. Yeah, I don't. I, I truly don't remember it. Great movie. After that, it was just. What did he do after that? Bucket List. Uh, the Bucket List. I'm still. Oh, I'm still here. I think it was a documentary. And how it was do you a know? fake documentary. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And how do you know? How do you? Yeah, he did two more movies after The Departed. The Departed oh. was the The Departed was the one. That's the one. Sure. Yeah. But I don't blame him. Picked up a little extra money. Why not? Uh, scratch. Yeah. Pay for boat gas. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Subs. Some subs. Yeah. Grubhub subs. <laughs> He's probably got Grubhub Plus. You think so? Probably, yeah. If you got that kind of money, he gets the points. What's Grubhub yeah. Plus? Well, you get points. Yeah, you get free, no delivery fees. That's sick. Yeah, he's probably got that. I got Uber Eats Plus, and it does pay. It pays for itself. Listen to you just dropping that. Yeah, it's no big yeah. deal to me. We might have to break shortly. Oh. Why do you say that? There's a, a concocted stew that is ready to be put in a bowl. <laughs> Who wants a taste? <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to be at uh, Fat Black Pussycat, 7 p.m. every Wednesday, just running through the hour. And, uh, you know, March 4th in Huntington, and then, of course, April 21, 22 in Cleveland. I love it. I'll be at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles for Not Sam Mania Live, uh, March 29th. You can go to NotSamLive.com. Uh, we'll be right back. Yes. Jim and Sam will be right back. Do us a kindness. Stick around. Stick around. Wiggle, wiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. I love to see you. Wiggle, wiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Jim and Sam are back to make you wiggle, wiggle.
My sister married an Irish guy. This is years ago, you know, at their wedding. I'm not going to tell you what song it was. But there was one song that played in the opening. Half the goddamn room just ran up to the dance floor. Oh, my God. All right, it was this song. It was Irish guys from Boston. And the entire <laughs> half of the room was just like, yeah. I get it. I love this song. They love them up there. They played oh. Fenway Park. They played Fenway Park? It's insane, yeah. Jim says, uh, I just got a text from Jim. Oh. Be back shortly. This one's a doozy. Okay, well. Let me tell him, you take your time. Yeah, there's always a... Uh... I mean, I don't know why I'd add this one's a doozy. You could just you could just say, be back shortly. Yeah, he just wanted to be Wait, clear. Wait, want to drive it home that this was a rough mm-hmm. one? No, I believe him, though. I don't think he's, you and know... He wasn't just like I don't think he's. Around. I don't think he's slough it off. I, I, I believe... If you push you hard, you get hemorrhoids. So, so you just got to let it kind you just of have to f- let it fall out. Yeah, right. Don't stress them out. Right. You kind of let it. Yeah. I mean, like like the waves. Just let it. Let it. Let it. I let get nature you. take its course. I get you. No, I mean, sure, that makes sense. Um, Travis, you got to yeah. be real pumped. Uh, of course. You were never <laughs> just being here, <laughs> yeah, right? Just, what an exciting thing, man! I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> what an exciting thing to get to do. <laughs> You've always kind of... Uh, See you every day, like, come on. It's the got to be the best. Yeah. I think about that when I look in the mirror. Oh, my God. You should. It's really him. Who I am. <laughs> um, but you've always, like, claimed to not be much of a Broadway guy. That's right. But La La Land's Oh, yeah, I'm getting my tickets. You are going to do it? Hell yeah. La La Land, the Broadway musical? That's going to be one of the easiest adaptations. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, do of we need time. songs? No. Yeah, no, we'll just do the movie. Yeah. It's going to look like uh, The Last of Us, where it's just shot for shot, yeah. song for song. Except, yeah. you know, they're not going to have Ryan Reynolds in it. Which... No, no, or Emma Stone. Oh, is she in it? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm just a Ryan Reynolds guy. What can I tell you? Yeah, so they're bringing- Ryan Gosling, bro. I wish it was Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I'm a Ryan Reynolds guy. Uh, they're bringing uh, La La Land to, to Broadway. Broadway. It's going to be a Broadway musical- which feels it feels like it's cheating, you know. They already did all the songs. Like they, they, there's no adaptation whatsoever. It's just like the the stuff from the movie will put up on the stage. It's like, yeah, how can we just build these sets? Right, that's what it'll be. It'll yeah. be like building the sets. Can of we build the highway? L.A. traffic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. There's the first scene. Isn't it funny too that like that movie won Best Picture and the own there's one only one scene. Only scene anybody ever remembers is the opening scene. And it's a very forgettable best picture. Yeah, that one best picture? Yeah. What did that come out in? 98? No, what? Oh, man, that was, that was like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, it came out in like 2018. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, so, you know, it'll be great. Songs are great in that movie. It's going to make a good Broadway show. You going to see it, Troy? Troy, you like Broadway musicals? No. What? what? Why? Because I, I don't care. No? No, uh, They'll put a smile on your face. Will it? Maybe not. Nah, probably not. Probably not. You'd probably be like, sitting there angry at your date for making you go to this thing. Yeah. You'd be thinking, I could have been asleep right now. I don't like musicals, man. You don't? No. I liked, what's it called? Hair. Because it showed boobies. The genitals. Well, I I don't know if it showed showed Bush. Those are genitals. Is Bush considered genitals? What's the outside of the genital for sure? I mean, you can show Bush on Instagram. It's outer genital. You, well, no, you can only show outer bush on Instagram, I think. They show full-on bush. The whole front? Pretty much. No, they have, a, have to have a little strip of fabric. I mean, they don't show, like, the camel toe area. Right. But they show Around. definitely the bush. <laughs> Who's they? Instagram. These girls. Oh. These hoes, <laughs> These you know? Hoes. These hoes ain't loyal, though. That's the problem. It has, it, it's an issue. It's an issue that's going to bite Instagram. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. By the way, it didn't win Best Picture. Moonlight won Best Picture. Really? Yeah, I was wrong. I thought it won Best Picture too. It won Best Actress. <laughs> oh. And Best Director. Was that the one? What well, was that the one that they announced? No, but because that was the one that didn't Warren Beatty announce La La Land. I think so. And then they were like, "Oop, nope, yeah. Moonlight." That's why we all think it won Best Picture. Because we remember the whole cast coming yeah, on stage. Yeah. Because it did for a minute. Do you have that when they accidentally did the wrong Best Picture nomination? I mean, that's actually more offensive than what Will Smith did at a. At an award show. Yeah, it's like, the worst. That was 2017. Oh. He's not going to want to talk about La La Land. 
He's probably going to be pumped. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good now. Oh. Got it out of your system? <laughs> I, I was done, and I had stood up and ready to come back up, and my body went, no, you're not. <laughs> Get back down there, buckaroo. <laughs> Hate to correct you on this one. Oh, yeah. More <laughs> stew. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You, as long as you get it all out, you can't let that stuff brew too long. I think most of it's done. That's good. Yeah. It might be a little more, but. That's okay. We take another break. It's yeah. no problem. We'll get it out of you. This is when uh, <coughs> La La Land won Best Picture, but then it didn't. The Academy Award. Oh, I'm so glad it didn't. I thought it did. I forgot. <laughs> For Best Picture. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Come on. La La Land. Yeah! What? Shit, we did it. She didn't even open the envelope. Has 14 Oscar nominations and this woman's like, all right. Dominic Chianese or whatever his name yeah. is. In Oscar history, what is that like? Uh, just being like, hell yeah, we won Best Picture. And no, also what, like, no, two people only know, like, wait a second, that's not right. Yeah, Warren Beatty's up there right now going like, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Who's that he's up there with? Faye Dunaway? Yep. Faye Dunaway's like, oh my god, oh my god. Let's just give him the award. Fuck it. Let's just. Thank you, thank you all. Oh, they gave him the envelope uh, thank you to though. The Academy. Yeah. Thank you too. Because you get to keep the envelope. <laughs> Lionsgate. Yeah. Even if it thank says someone else's all. name oh, on it. Cast and crew, we're all up here right now. Oh boy. Um, thank you to Jamie Feldman, to Gary Gilbert. Thank uh, you. Uh, read the envelope, dude. Minute. Look at the envelope, dude. Look at the envelope. Stop thanking people. In the arts. Oh no 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 no. Crazy. Um, Arthur Horowitz. Oh no! Look at the envelope, dude. Stop. Um. And to my kind, oh, they're hugging and kissing. Well, I think maybe the envelope. Talented, I think they gave the wrong envelope. Blue-eyed wife and creative partner Julia Hart. Oh, look, Ooh. they're all so happy. You oh, Emma, Emma, Emma Stone's they're crying. They can't Poor Emma Stone. Crying. I know. I like she was Emma like, Stone. I was in a Best Picture um, winner. More no, you weren't. Man, I'm still becoming. Um, oh, Jesus. There's a lot of love in this room. It's Warren's and still and smiling like an idiot. I did good. Yes, I'm Warren Beatty. Dick Tracy. Joy towards hope. And towards there empathy. It is. Uh, uh, should we write this? Should we, dream, should we make a, a Chiron? Platt, my mentor Sam Cohn, my parents, my children, now, my wife Julie. He's looking around. I've stood for yeah, because somebody off stage is going. Something's going on. No. And to the no. No. Oh. Oh. To be a part of, and to the Hollywood oh, this. What? Oh, oh no. no. Oh, they, 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 they oh, all. Oh, no. Oh, wait, what? The enemy of civilization. Oh, he's talking his speech, and the guy's like, "Can I see that envelope for a second? The guy went, "You didn't win." Oh, and this guy's still giving his speech. Did he take the award? Of the thing. He took the envelope. That's that's why wrong I think envelope? If, if I remember correctly, they gave the wrong envelope. How oh. could there be any other envelopes? So this so is wait, the last because don't forget there's other oh, there's awards. a handful of people that actually know who won. Yeah, but there's secret, no other secret, awards. Secret. This is the last award of the night. Why would they have more envelopes there? I don't know. Is it the last award of the night? Yes, it's best, best picture. picture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like another one that they won. Uh oh. How did this happen? It's the love of my life, Ali Lowe. Oh no, no, no. I think no, no. Jimmy Kimmel came out. So much. It's my family, my mom, papa, Jeff. Mom, no, my papa. Uh, Matt Pluff, you kicked papa. this off. They oh, know. They're all talking. Warren Beatty. Look at Warren Beatty. <laughs> Warren Beatty's got it. Hey, you know. uh, Did you hear him? We lost, by the way. There's, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Oh. oh. This is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. <laughs> This is not a joke. By the way, they threw Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway right under the bus. This is not a joke. They read the wrong thing. This is embarrassing. Maybe this. Okay, okay. What about this? This this guy at least handled it well. No, no, it's not a joke. He just came out and said it. That's the director of La La Land. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying he handled it like blunt. Professional. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, do you think that Moonlight? Yeah. What What if they didn't look at the envelope because the letters are too small because they're old? And the last nominee was still on the teleprompter. No, I don't. That said La La Land. Might have been that. Right? And so she looked up. It said La La Land still from the last, from the list of nominees. Oh, sure, sure, possible. And that's how she goes. That's what she read. I'll look it up while we're Are while you cringing? Yeah. yeah, and I remember this, of course. It's but the best. I'd I had forgotten, forgotten how. Yeah, you forget. Travis and I were literally having a conversation both saying La La Land won Best Picture. Because we forgot that the reason we thought it did, because we saw all these speeches and thanks to Papa and and everyone. I'm glad it didn't. That's me. I felt bad for Emma Stone, though. Oh. The only Emma, though. Hang on. If you listen closely, you can hear Warren Beatty whisper, it says Emma Stone, to Dunaway after she announces La La Land. They may have given an extra 
uh, an extra best envelope actress that said Emma Stone envelope. because Emma Stone did win for best actress. For, it probably said Emma Stone. So that's La why they La La just Land. said La La Land. Yes, or it said La La Land, Emma Stone, whatever. It says Emma Stone on it, and though. it has the words La La Land. So, so she mu- saw it. They mixed up the envelope. They didn't know. That's right. Well, they Warren did. Well, yeah, Faye Dunaway got caught. No, who well, who said it says Emma Stone? Warren, Warren said, said it says Emma Stone. Because Faye Dunaway's the one who read La La Land. Stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you blame Faye Dunaway on this one? I, yeah, I mean, look, after she, after you what she Faye did, Dunaway is stupid. I fun. didn't mean to. <laughs> she was so good in network that she was it, great n- nothing network. matters. So cold. A close up uh. photograph shows Beatty is clearly carrying a winner's envelope for Best Actress. That's what happened. That's what happened. What happened. They gave him the wrong envelope. Yes. Yep, okay. Best Actress. Yes. They just had extra envelopes, I guess, yeah. in case they lost one. Yeah. They probably have two of each. Yeah. So they, oh, who was the idiot that did that? Hands him the wrong fucking envelope. I tell you, you know who handed him the wrong envelope? The guy who went out there and said they read the wrong thing. The guy, because that's the old pass the buckski. Yeah. Yeah. That's not I handed them the wrong thing. That's they read the wrong thing. Yeah, because look he, over here. He opened it up, didn't say anything for a minute. And he was like, and then he handed it to Fed. If you want to go back real quick, I can play. Yeah, it. because so great. now that we know that he opened, he, I, and I guess he didn't. You never want to think. You always think that you're making the mistake. Right. This is where it would help to be a narcissist. Where you go, oh, someone else is fucked up. Yeah, this <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> I'll take my share, but somebody else fucked up. Let's see. For best picture. <laughs> you're impossible. <laughs> okay, uh, here's what, what, he, hit pause for no. a sec. So. He went for best picture. He looked at it. He knew something was wrong. Yep. Faye thought he was joking around. He goes, here you go, lady. So he hands it to her. He goes, look, it's, what are we going to do here? And she just goes. Let me see that later. again. Okay. And then she gets the wrath of Jim Norton. And the Academy Award. He doesn't know what to do. He got the wrong envelope. He's not being cute. For best picture. You're He's waiting for somebody to bring the right envelope to her. And then he's like, fuck la, it. La La Land. Wait, no, yeah. he, doesn't, he doesn't say anything. He's smiling. I don't think he knew either. He's smiling like I a think, fucking I think, dope. I think you can hear it. I'll be here, okay. When they go back. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, he has 14 Oscar nominations this year and is tied for the most nominated movie in Oscar history, winning seven Oscars. Production design, cinematography, original score, song, director. Yeah, I think, actress, I don't want to rewatch the entire Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, we don't need to analyze this like this is a cruder Which is curious, yeah. But let's see Moonlight go. Mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Uh, this is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. Jimmy Kimmel is trying to be the host. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Nobody knows what to do. Moonlight, Best Picture. He just took it. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna handle this because you guys just fucked up. Yeah, but he did kind. Of, I'll say this: that guy kind of grabbed the fucking bull by the horn and yes. said, "Let me take care of this. I'll handle this." Enough of your nonsense. What an anticlimax for the moonlighting Poor, people. Yeah. Well, it's not moonlight. Moonlighting. Did moonlight, it. yeah, Very moonlight. Important. Moonlighting should have won. Moonlighting's yeah. great. Will they or won't they? I always Steve wanted Harvey to know. This. I would like to see you get an Oscar anyway. Why can't we just give I, out a whole bunch I, I, of them? I, I'm going to be really proud to hand this to my friends from Moonlight. That's nice of you. That's great. See, and he's like, he's like, no, 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 no. We're going to make this about There's that. There's not an ounce uh, of sadness visible. No. Nope. You can tell he's more annoyed at the incompetence of Hello. him fucking Moonlight. Hello. And he doesn't like that Jimmy Kimmel's I, trying to make jokes. Yeah. He's like, nope, I this want... is your moment. Warren, what did you do? I want to tell you. What I wish happened. you went full Wait. Bullworth here. I opened the envelope <laughs> and it said, Emma Stone, La La Land. That's why. I took such a long look Boom. at Faye You're right. and at you. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were funny. That Thank was you very much. Shut up, Jake. Yeah. No. Shut up, Camel. Wow, this, is, um, this is Moonlight. Let them Let talk the moonlight. now. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to. They're all there. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're all waiting, and this fucking old, this old white man is babbling. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, back this kind of happened on Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> That's, Shut up, Warren. That's, that's Warren Beatty going, I'm going to take this moment and make sure I don't get blamed for it. But Faye, Faye, you could talk to I all you want. I looked at it, and Faye, this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi. Karen Feehan now Hi. joins us in studio. Oh we're, re, we're reanalyzing the Moonlight uh, La La Land mistake at the Oscars from a few years ago. We're enjoying Be- because it. Because you, oh. weren't, you weren't here when we set it up, but La La Land is going to Broadway. Yes, Broadway, it is. are you in it? 
I wish. Aww. You kidding me? You can sing, Sam. I know. Did you get a good one, Travis? You son of a bitch. Well, I'll show you, Karen. I yeah. have to turn my brain off to take pictures. You better take it now before those pit stains okay. activate. <laughs> <laughs> All clean. All clean. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm not cast in it, but I am I'm excited to see La La Land come to Broadway. That's where I, we part ways. I don't think it's gonna be much of a departure from the film, unfortunately. It's no. already kinda built. Wasn't the film correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't the film a musical? It yeah. was a musical. Yep. So we already kinda did it. We've we, done that, it. That was and my it feeling. It wasn't good. Oh good. come on. I hate musicals. Though. I do too. I can't stand them. Hate I, they're them. for children. They are it's no, no, no. singing they're the for words. Infants. That's not true. Yes. Telling the story through song, go fuck oh, yourself. Yeah. yeah, go fuck yourself. How many cool musicals even say fuck or show fucking or do anything one. dark or cool? Which one? Book of Mormon. Yeah. Is hilarious. Yeah. There's other musicals that show fucking, not like Let's full list on. them, Sam, you yeah. creep. Rent. <laughs> <laughs> I saw how that worked That's out. That's the aftermath of. <laughs> they all have AIDS and die. That's, That's right. Close. They don't Le, even show the fun part. Le Cage Full. <laughs> French Drek. I never knew I'd be interested in the story of the French Revolution and how it affected different people until I saw Les Mis. Don't you Awful. Les Mis yourself to death. That was actually really yeah. good. You're a professional you, comedian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just got here. Les Mis is so am, overrated. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. It's actually uh, underrated. Castle on a cloud. Yeah. I love that fucking That's a little boo. girl. That's a little girl. Yay. Boo. Cosette, go fuck yourself. You know a lot about a show that you don't like. Stinks. You're trying to it make stinks. Jim think you're cool. You like it. And it's I don't working. Like it. It's working. I do think she's cool. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> was Cosette a name from Les Mis? Yeah, of course. Is that where the Sopranos yeah. dog name came yes. from? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. There yes, you go. absolutely. All right, cool. Yeah. I, I like it more now knowing the dog died. Could, I'm happy that dog got squashed. I think he might have crawled under there for warmth. <laughs> that fucking shit. Cosette boy. is the you little know what I like girl than that's a on you know, the Les Mis logo, the little girl painting. Yeah. That's Cosette. I saw a rendition where she was chubby. A little, they cast a little chubby girl because she had the pipes. She Was had the this community oh. theater. Yes, yes. She, then, then it's Lay Miserable because yes, she's fat. Yes. So you know why she's unhappy. Yeah. What do you think Lay Miz stands for? Uh, Lay oh, Miz Direct. Oh, oh Lay Miz I guess so. Yeah. There you go. That shows you how little I know. That's how it's like, easy it is. I, you, you show me it a fat girl, and I'm like, I know what this means. <laughs> uh, I thought it was, yeah. Go ahead. No, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome, what, Karen. What about Miss Saigon? That one I saw in Boston growing up, and it was. I don't know if I ever saw Miss Saigon. It, that one there was kind of, there was implied fucking too. Cause See, he had a whore, uh, um, you know, in Vietnam or whatever, and then had a kid. It was like the story was kind of cool, and there was a helicopter in the musical, like in the production. So that was cool. like a helicopter, like no or, Samuel, uh, stop we're... doing that with your fake <laughs> air penis. Yeah. <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> yeah, stop your... pretend spinning your fucking little, your little recently clipped air cock. <laughs> Wasn't that recent? I mean, comparatively yeah. speaking, sure. But... Snip, snip here, snip, snip there. Couple of tra la la's. Is this supposed to be good, Miss Saigon? People I, liked it at the time. I, I mean, it. it's not timeless. It felt. Yeah, okay. I think it felt like it, kind of modern, like the uh, for a musical. You know, it was like cool. It was about Vietnam. You like uh, Little Shop of Horrors? Nah. Uh... The rules. Suddenly, see more. But I mean, it's this just, one knows. She is I'm so full saying, of it. Jim. I'm not full of it. She Drop wants your. Uh, hold I on. don't like them. Yes, I you, then don't. Why, you've seen all of them. Because you know songs from all of them. My throat. By whom? You dropped your coat, Karen. <laughs> God damn it! She's lying. I know. They How does she know all these songs, Jim? I'm, what's your favorite song from Little Shop of Horrors? I, I wouldn't know. I truly don't know any. If, if you because tell me you a song, I might know no, but that's because it. You, she's singing the hits. I've heard that, but I don't know what that is. But she's yeah. singing the hits from every Standing single show. Standing beside me. <laughs> All right, don't listen. Need no... It doesn't mean I like them. Like, I've sat aware through them. them. Yeah, yeah. Like there's the and other... memorized the songs. Yes, I've, I've dated men with internalized homosexuality, and they've you forced have? me to watch this <laughs> gay shit. Oh. <laughs> Do they have a little internalized homosexuality yes, thing? Yes, yeah, right. they like wrestling and musicals. Yeah, that stuff rules. That they sound is. like real fun guys. Want to want to watch a bunch of men touch each other yeah. and then just enjoy a song? Oh, a nice little alto riff behind the touching of the sweaty bodies. So you spent some time dating awesome dudes. Huh? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> have you ever been in bed or, or dated a guy who did something and you're like, this guy's gay? Yeah. Like, what did they do that made you go like, oh. and pulled his pinky out of his butthole and. Oh. <laughs> And you made him talk. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> it's great to see you, Karen. You yeah. guys too. Good to be here. Yes. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for being here. Yeah. Of course, uh, Karen Feehan's podcast, Only Feehan's, is available on her YouTube channel and wherever you get podcasts. New episodes come out every single Friday. Yeah. 
And I, she's going to be at the Comedy Pit in Philly March 10th. Yes. So go see her there. And I feel like this is a troll. But Travis once again plugged the two episodes of Karen Sucks. Yeah, he's trolling me. Is that so troll? annoying. Yeah. I highlight the important stuff. You're such it an... says the Wait, first two just... episodes. No, because I don't want to get into it. Because it's uh, I just don't want to talk about it's it. It's a troll. I'm pleading with it. Yeah, Travis, you're a fucking troll. It's a troll. Yeah. But Kat... I want people to see your content. It's yeah, whatever. It's a troll. So tell them to subscribe to my OnlyFans, you fucking perv. <laughs> yeah, where's the OnlyFans plug? <laughs> That's yeah. the link. That's the watching, money uh, link. I was watching Karen Sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you were watching yeah, the OnlyFans. Are you still getting subs on OnlyFans? Yeah. That's good. It's good. We're having a good time. Good, good. You don't Apparently, know. it's affecting my career. My manager's such a fucking dork, though. I'm like, <laughs> shut up. Like, how is it affecting your career? Who cares? I know. I'm like, I, I'm like, I, I don't really give a shit about these like, you know, industry gatekeepers and like they're like nice. deciding who gets what and what fucking festival when they're fucking probably living in Astoria with their fucking cats. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, Are you specifically I'm, talking about Ian Finance? Uh, no. Yes, he's the gatekeeper. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. He had he's that a kind booger of power. keeper. No, he's a, he's a gay to keeper. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a fucking booger eater, is what he is. I love him. So you're not in. You're not like I'm the just, industry can go suck an egg as far as your nice language. I know. Yeah, really. This is the we're broadcasting what to the American people. Of? My ears are not garbage cans. <laughs> you're right. You can. So you're telling the industry to kick rocks is what you're Absolutely saying. Absolutely. Wow. Yourself. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're making money. What, I'll what be on hilarities in Cleveland on March 24th. I didn't give you guys all the dates or 26, 24th or 26th, and then yeah. um, I'm in uh. Ohio and Pittsburgh. That the, the twenty fourth. Ohio Pittsburgh. is uh, hilarities. The, okay, and then Cleveland's in Ohio. Yes, it is. Cleveland. It was recently seceded wait, from wait, wait, Illinois. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. There's another place. I'm going to Cleveland, then <laughs> Ohio. Columbus. Does yeah, that, that's that's that another better, great right? market. Oh, the comedy attic. The Boom. comedy attic. Boom. <laughs> this is that's gonna be what great. I am. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Like You're a super fan? Yeah. I'm yeah a fucking addict, dude. Can't get so, enough laughter. So you, uh, okay, Cleveland and then um, Columbus. Yeah, I love yeah. both markets. Yeah, thanks. So things are going great. So March. what's your manager talking about with the OnlyFans mm-hmm. affecting your career? It's just a something else. It's like one, yeah, sometimes he does this thing where he tells me about something he's trying to get me that I didn't ask about, that I didn't pitch myself for, you right. know what I mean? Just to come back and tell me you're not going to get it. Uh, right, like, hey, you didn't know about this, yeah. but they saw your butthole and they don't want you. Exactly. And you're like, I, why, why would you even bring that up? I don't why? know why you have to tell me this stuff. Just rejection for rejection's sake? I didn't yeah. even ask. Yes. No, it's you. this need to have good news. Jonathan yeah. will do this about this one casting director. For five years, he's like, you know, she's asking about your veils. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling me yeah. she's asking about my avails. I don't care. You don't believe it? No. <laughs> lying. <laughs> or he'll talk to them and go, hey, and she'll go, oh, how's Jim? Good. Yeah, he's available. All right, I'll yell. She's oh, not she's asking about my avails. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's like part of it. It's just like, hey, just so you know, things I'm doing, I'm doing stuff. Yeah. I'm failing, but I'm yeah. doing <laughs> I'm doing stuff. And the, well, why isn't anything getting done? Yeah. It's the butthole. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the, the internet butthole. butthole. It's the butthole it's, stuff. It's like, all right, yeah, well. And you're like, I'm pretty sure that that's not. But I mean, it, and I bet it might be, and that's fine. Like, me, that's not my sphere of comedy. Then you know what I mean? I don't know. Where buttholes aren't aren't allowed. <laughs> but don't you think there's a possibility too that they, when they don't get you work, they blame it on the butthole, even though it's them not, you know, coming through. Well, then I would just feel like it means I'm not a funny comedian. So your version's worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it could be though. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sam. Every time I come here. <laughs> Start with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. No, I was out of line. I'm feeling good. I've been doing uh, barbell classes. I'm, I've been doing Olympic lifts. Ah. Really? Cleans and front squats. And nice. De- and back squats and deadlifts. Ooh. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. Feeling switched, strong? Switched gyms. Went from Equinox Come to- on. You're feeling strong? I'm telling you. <laughs> Billy Betts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> What did, what, you know, what, how come you come. switch gyms? Just because you wanted something... Were they being fresh in the other gym? No. Is it a matter of people being fresh? Yeah, yeah. Were they cat right, calling? It's like right away, they get fresh. Yeah, they, get they, just fucking stare, fresh. they just stare at me. I'm like, what's the big deal? I just shit my leggings. What are you yeah. guys staring at? You know, like, exactly. Let you me get my workout in. in. I'm here to you know, like work yeah. out. Sorry I smell like fecal. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they they took away my classes. They fucked up my shed. My uh, schedule. you can't have them fucking with the shed. No, and I and I feel like I was plateauing at Equinox, sort of. I would like walk into every group fitness class, like fuck yeah, I'm the best, I'm gonna dominate. And then I look around, it's like yeah, of course you are. There's some fucking chubby stay at home moms. Sure. Like of course you're gonna win. Sure. So I needed to uh, challenge myself. Challenge so what did you go to like a specialized like uh... lifetime? That's you good. gotta come, get a day pass, get Why? a day pass. 
It's all good day passes. It's a mecca. It's amazing. They have it? everything you could ever want. You can go and sit in one of these hydro massage chairs after you work out. Have you ever sat in one of these? You're no. rich. You're rich. So so rich. Yeah. I want one in my house. It's like a jacuzzi jet's inside a chair that pulses up and down your body. Ooh. It's incredible. I'd like a jacuzzi chair. Yeah. <laughs> I came three times. You did? Yeah. yeah and I was like, this, this is free? This is all free. <laughs> oh, sure. So then, And then they have the Normatech things where they put pressure on your legs. Have you seen those? The Normatech? Um, you guys are just so behind. But wait, the, the life, Lifetime it's called? Yes. Where are they? There's a bunch. There's one. The one near me is on Wall Street. There's one on 23rd. You got um, any in a best dresser? I bet they do. There's hey. no way they're better than Equinox. I'm telling you they're better. She switched. What do you mean there's they're no more, way they're better? They're We're more, talking to a person who's that's experienced true. both and made her choice. They're more expensive and it's worth it. Oh, you like that. The classes are harder. The amenities are nicer. You're getting a... a and, every, and the one I'm at anyway, dry sauna, hot tub, steam room... Spa. You can get a blowout after you work out. They Wait, have a full salon. Sauna. They have a salon, and it's part of the package. It's in the building. How no, much? it's not. You pay for it. You pay extra though. You probably pay a little extra. A for dry that. sauna. You don't even count the money though. I know. You're good. You're good for it. Wait, a dry sauna, jacuzzi. They have a cold thing because they they have all that stuff at Equinox. I want a, um, I want a cold plunge. I do want a cold plunge too. They don't have one yet, but I'm going to talk to them. About Maybe it. I'll look at one. You got a bathtub? Check it out. Yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll get a referral going. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You do, oh, you're yeah. Gonna, Fuck yeah. You're going to start doing cold plunges? Why do you want to do cold plunges, I love a cold plunge. There aren't enough in New York. There's supposed to be pretty There's one good. one down on Wall Street. The Wait. Russian spa. With you the like air, the cold plunge? Yeah, the, I do. Down the have, Russian Is there a nice Russian spa down there? Down there in Wall Street, yeah. The, there's Massage? a place in LA. Sorry, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What's it called? Just the Russian? Just the, I think it's just Russian, Russian spa. Cold there's plunge. one called Air and Fight Eye that's really nice, too. Is it cheap or nice? You can go for like, I think a day pass is like, at the time was maybe like 40 or 50 bucks. Nice. No, but I mean, it's not like a, a low rent shitty place. No, they keep it pretty clean. Yeah. You want to go to like Air though, where it's like a hundred bucks and like the people are hotter. What is Air? Yeah, yeah but I'm not. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> so, <laughs> you've earned your right to be there. <laughs> exactly. You got money, dude. Um, But, but you know what I love? This place in LA, and there's none here, where in the same room, it's called Pause. In the same room, you get an infrared sauna and a cold plunge. And you book it for like an hour and you just go in and out. Fucking heaven. You love that. Pause. Right. You love extreme heat, extreme cold. You yeah. love extremes. I go to a cryotherapy place, but you I do. prefer the plunge to the cryo. The cryo is Tell a me little, why. Cryo's three minutes and 30 seconds max, uh-huh. right? And when you're done, yeah. you're in pain. Your legs yeah. hurt. Uh-huh. Does, does, my legs would hurt like my bones were being squeezed. Yes. It's a weird feeling. For sure. And then you get out and your dopamine does go through the roof like for the rest of that day or night or whatever. You feel awesome. But the yeah. cold plunge, I think, is just like a little... Similar effective and, and just a little easier to do. You get your dopamine up after a cold plunge? Absolutely. Nice. How long do you go in for? I just jump in and then get out. You're a pussy, Troy. How long do you stay in for? A minute, at least. You go okay. balls out or a little tidy whitey action? Just my swim trunks. I'm worried nice. about your balls for you. I want to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to picture it. I would have I to. make pussy icicles. <laughs> <laughs> I make <laughs> well, <I'll> go... <laughs> What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> My vagina is so cold too that it just like it all freezes in there. I would have to bring like tighter. I hate my my bathing suit's loose, but when you're in a freezing thing, it clings to you and you get up. There's nothing worse than a cold bathing suit clinging to yeah. your leg skin. Yeah, you know Mike Montone likes to do the polar plunge on. Uh, That's right. What's that? What holiday is it around? I do. It's New Year's Day. Right. I'm, I might I might do one uh, this weekend. I'm going to see my parents down the shore. Oh. He goes to Coney Island. He jumps into cold water. I'll come. Swims around. I'll, yeah. The the dopamine shit is hardcore. Yeah, dude. It's like the entire day afterwards. How long do you win for? Um, I go in. I splash around a little bit. It's fun. Yeah. And the dopamine does. Uh... Oh, it it sticks. Yeah. Oh, man. you're trying to get that dopamine drip coming back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I've been I've been jerking off a little. Maybe I need to stop that and go cold plunge. <laughs> yeah, just hold water. You need it from somewhere. <laughs> you gotta get it. Right? Gotta get it from somewhere. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I think my wrist hurts because I've been masturbating too much. You've been Have you been doing that a lot? I've been trying to go lefty, but right. my right wrist. I think it's from a multitude of things, but I think that's one of the things aggravating it. It's Are you this... not dating right now? <laughs> no, I'm okay. not. Okay. No. <laughs> Okay. So I think it's that, and I think it's throwing my dog her ball with like a sideways motion once in a while. That hurts it. Sure. I hate okay. to hear that. It's feeling okay now, though. How much that Jimmy yours cost? 250 I'm oh. going to see how it goes my first month. Right no, now, no, I'm fucking no. there. I mean- Do I, they have a locker? Like they, oh, yeah. <laughs> No. 250 no lockers. No, no. I mean like where you can leave your stuff, or do you have like you have to bring it in and out every day? Um, you, I think you probably could. That's a good question. I'm a bringer in her and take her outer. Oh, I always leave stuff. Yeah. Just little gifts like for the staff. Like you can rent a locker that's Jimmy's locker? <laughs> yeah. I just got out to lug my shit every day because I come right from work. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
You go every day? Pretty much. Get your 250 out of it. Yeah. They have hot yoga studio. Ooh. Multiple. Like the classes are really, for me, like I, I like an instructor. I like somebody who has a degree in whatever we're doing to like look at me and make sure I'm doing it perfectly. Nice. So uh, hot yoga, I've done it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. I don't even know if it's good for weight loss, but you do sweat. Like you feel good when you're done. Yeah. I do it more in the thought of increasing my flexibility so I can squat deeper and lift heavier. That's not being my motive. Ask to grass. Yeah. You got hurt. Nice. Word. Nice. Yeah. It's good for mobility and strength. I mean, you know, you, you lifting a lot of body weight with your parts. I've seen what Troy's doing on Instagram. Yeah. yeah I did a 30 day yoga challenge. He's doing 60 it. day now. What's Talk that? on it, Troy. Talk on it. I Look did at 30 day yoga every single day for 30 days. For how long? I did 30 days. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The questions you are for coming with days? today. First, the how locker long thing for a session? session? Was it 60 less minutes. than a month? 60 minutes. Okay. <laughs> 60 minutes of hot yoga every single day. Oh, hot yoga. Hot I see. Yoga. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You do it every other day? Every single day. Oh, okay. How was it? How is it? I love it. Yeah, okay. It's life changing. Really? Yes. Would you do it every day? I am doing it every oh. day. <laughs> I'm going for six. I'm, I'm really going to try a 90 day. Is it good for wow. weight loss? Yeah, I'm losing weight. I'm just shredding weight. You look great. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. If you, you have you, a diet. You're, you're concerned about weight loss, Jim. Why? Oh, if I put weight on, I feel oh. gross. You look just great. use it to build muscle and then you won't even think about it. Yeah, it's not weight, it's mass. Yeah. You're putting on mass right now. Maybe. Yeah. Men have mass. Have mass. Have mass. Great. <laughs> you don't believe it? You don't So I'll it. look at this other gym. What's it called? Lifetime? Lifetime. Is it Take, new? I think it's fairly new. And it you know, it feels elite. Right, you like That's, that? Yes. Yeah. Because again, I do feel like at Equinox I kind of plateaued and like the next step for me there would be like use more of the machines and the and the barbells and stuff, but I'm uncomfortable there because it, it you can be the ugliest girl on the fucking planet. But sure. there's just so many dudes, it's just like they just look at you, so you just feel less you. than comfortable. Yeah. That's also why I like a class, because at least like I'm in a group or whatever. Right. Yeah. And everybody's I've been thinking there it's for... called Alpha Strong. You're trying to get big and strong. I want to be in the Olympics in my 40s. <laughs> well, there is there is a version of them you could be. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You would dominate, though. Oh, yeah. I could dominate. <laughs> Are you trying to get like big and, like, big and strong? It's not about getting big and strong because that's just such a misconception. The stronger you get, the bigger you get. Not necessarily. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of people that lift weights because they want to get big and yeah. strong. Sure. Yeah. So I'm asking you if you want to. I mean, I, the things that you're doing, people do I, when they want to get big and strong. Like, I don't mind if my ass and legs get bigger. But nice. That's the only you know. Place. You're not trying to get them big, uh, boulder shoulders. I'm not interested in like the traps or the lats or any you should of, do it, dude. Any of that stuff. That's like no. CrossFit. You got to do that to look like that. Yeah, I'm not like so upper body focused. You should get yoked. More lower body focused. But I like All having right. like an evened out arm. I work on my triceps a lot because I worry about the fucking thighs and tries. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Jim <laughs> mm. <laughs> tapped out. I'm, no, no, I'm like, I just want to sweat my weight off. I'm looking. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually looking up. I'm clicking on a Lifetime just to see oh, where yeah, there's out. one. I, I believe there's one in Flatiron. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably go Upper West. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. If um if you build out Mike, your lats, oh, what do you got? And well, since we're on the the subject, <laughs> if you build out your lats and the lateral head of your delt, it'll mm. give you more of the hourglass look. Oh yeah, because you get that triangle going. Super I jacked. don't believe yeah. you. Yeah, I follow fucking these girls. bullshit. I follow. I mean, do you know who Del Spiegel is? Yes, fuck Del Spiegel. No, I don't. <laughs> Can you pull up Del Spiegel? Travis? If you get the wide no. shoulders, this and Mike's right, and you come in like a triangle, and then you get them big quads. Yeah. He's, he's I right. I just, I think I'm more of like a triangle, like little, it's okay, little on the top. See, I want to be like shaped. Like a heart, like an upside down heart. And then that cake. Word. Yeah, I get you. I want to be shaped like a rolling pin. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. thin legs and a fat middle <laughs> yeah. and a thin head. Yeah, I get it. That's... You couldn't find like, her, Travis? Almost like a dollop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she's like yoked and like. Go ahead, Cal, what do you got? <laughs> Sorry, just a guy who likes to control the conversation. Jim, you are really you're quite an anchor tonight. Got you. <laughs> Danny Spiegel? Hit me. Yeah, maybe that's it. Also, Travis, don't ever correct me when I'm wrong again. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't. That's really, you made her, cause, especially I mean, with the tone. all the time. Especially yeah. with, the, the, with what? the tone. I'm not wrong all the time. Travis, Danny Spiegel? Travis is nagging you. CrossFit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he is. Okay. He's we just flirting, see what isn't she he? Looks yeah, he's like trying to show Travis her. is flirting. Yeah, he's trying to. He's, he's pretty. I show her what a real relationship is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Troy, you think Travis is flirting a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, with I think me. So. He's yeah, like I think she so. thinks she likes good-looking guys, but I can get her. I'll just <laughs> nag her a little. The guys she think so. she probably has a great clip. Like Mike, like what do you think of that <laughs> yes, build? Because yes. when you describe that, that's yes. what I think. Well, she doesn't have that thin of a waist though. 
Yes, she does. That's, that's definitely she's a CrossFit body. Core. She does. She works out. Yeah, she's like the top, in the top echelon of like CrossFit or weightlifting. Yeah, but she's gym. built her core. Oh, okay. I'd hate right. to be naked in front right. of her. So this is not the triangle. <laughs> She'd that, hate it too. Oh. That, that <laughs> Mike was necessarily yeah, talking. So, about. Yeah, all the CrossFit like heavy compounds and everything she's doing is have resulted in a very like thick muscular midsection. Yeah. Um, if you don't did that, if you don't, you don't do did that, that, yeah, you don't did that. <laughs> if you didn't do that, and you just focused on like body part specific work for the the lateral head of your delt and your lats, yeah, it'll just create the illusion of having. All right, we'll see. That's why so that's what you say. Work on the lats more. Um, well, it depends what you're trying to do. I mean, they're um, worked into like my workouts anyway. Like she I wants, do, she wants a very specific look. Yeah, and this is just a way to visually create. See, it that's a great easily. fucking ass though. Yeah. Like, I think yes. her ass and legs are spectacular. They Squats. Are yeah. I don't like the thong disappearing. No, you don't like that. No, no. But, <laughs> shove my nose in there. Hello. And there's another little chick, and I don't know her fucking name. She's fucking Spanish, but she's like petite. Valerie Loreda. No. Uh, is that who's that? Who's that? She's cute. Yeah. She's into me. Yeah, look at Sam. Why are you all red? It's Troy's favorite wrestler. <laughs> oh, oh. Is yeah. she just a cutie? Yeah. yeah. She, she twerks yeah. when she wins. Oh, that's adorable. Wait, I don't know. She Would you, Troy? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, I forgot her name. Oh. She changed her name. Yeah. Yeah, she's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Here, no, no, click the first one so she can This one? Twerk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she kicks this girl's ass. Boom. Oh, look at her. Oh! Boom. Boom. Oh! I didn't oh. know you knew your way around her Instagram. He's memorized it. He's <laughs> memorized the grid. Well, she has this one pinned. So, so you, you watch, watch it every it time? I watch it. I yeah, watch it. Here we go. She looks, oh, here we go. Let's celebrate. Yeah. Let's celebrate. So far, she's just running around that squared circle. <laughs> wow. She shakes her hiney very nicely. She's fucking hot. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. First. That's I'd give an it, awesome I'd give, way it, to I'd give it a pat out of respect. She's fucking awesome. Good for you, Jim. Yeah. Her yeah. husband must be We'd huge be a good and couple. awesome. Sam, look at that. We'd be a good couple. I love yeah, her. Like that shape. body type is perfect to me. I think yeah, for all so of us, hot. it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You no, know what? Jim, for me. <laughs> for my eyes. Are you into women at all or no? I keep, oh my God, fucking lesbian wanted to buy me a drink last night. I mean, I have connections with them sometimes. It's like there's some electricity there. Yeah. I think as I pointed them out in the crowd, too, I was like, I knew you fucking lesbians would like that one. Did you, buy you a, did you buy you a beverage? Did you have a drink? No, because I, of course, was like, well, I don't drink. I'm an alcoholic. And she's like, ew, loser. You could have had a yeah, club she soda. She was a hot lesbian. I know. I bail. I fucked up. Do you, are you attracted to her? I didn't know if you, I don't, have you ever hooked up with a girl? It's like, I didn't, I didn't feel I do, attracted. I, do, I, do. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I didn't feel attracted to her, but objectively speaking, she was very attractive. Sure, yeah, yeah, I understand. She you. was a sexy lady. You'll see guys sometimes, or women, like I saw, I, I met Calvin Klein. Nice. And his, he was with uh, his gentleman friend. And I, I was attracted to the guy, but I couldn't stop looking at him. Like, this yeah. is a perfectly yeah. sculpted human right. being. Right. Oh, yeah. Like it's just yeah. mind boggling what it must be like to be that person. Right. That, that perfect. perfectly sculpted. Wow. Like it would be a different life. Yeah, you'd be fucking Calvin Klein. Be great. Making a lot of money. Be great. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes you're not attracted to someone that you yeah. recognize. Yeah. Yeah. Precisely. Well, what do you think about I mean, what do you think about uh Aaron Rodgers? Like uh, Aaron Rodgers seems like he's into a, I have a, a story of... about football. Remind me after. I will. Go ahead. Aaron Rodgers said that he's not sure if he's coming back to play next year or not. He's going to go on a darkness retreat. Sorry? For four days. He's just going to sleep with black women? <laughs> I don't know if that's what that means. <laughs> I think so. But it could be. I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. Me neither. I've never nice. heard of it. But he's, great. he's not going to see or talk to anyone for four days, be in the dark, and he's going to get his food through a hole. Somebody puts his... I mean, it sounds like solitary. What's solitary. Going to he wants to go to jail? Solitary kind of sounds like that. Did he it, murder someone? And this have. is his own version? He's like, listen, I'll do it for a few days. I'll could pay, have. I'll pay my dues, yeah. but... Don't. But yeah, that's what he said. He's going to go on a, dar- a four-day darkness retreat so he can make the proper decision. Is, he is this still, something that would appeal to you? Is he still with Danica Patrick or no? Well, I don't think he's been with Danica Patrick for some time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that Solitary? supposed to do something for you? Well, it gets your mind clear. But does your phone, you have your phone while you're No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you just no. be on Twitter the whole time? <laughs> is it a very comfortable room like with a nice bed? You just sit in the dark? That sounds boring. I, I, I feel like the sensory deprivation might, you know, make you sort of focus if you wanted to like tackle something. But, but... wouldn't it also maybe make you crazy? Yeah. And so you're making decisions that you normally wouldn't make? No, because for four days, 
there's a, a definitive timeline and you can end it when you want. I think a lot of the craziness That's comes true. from the right. hopelessness or the helplessness of yeah. being put there. And right. the loss of control. There is no loss. You are no, controlling No, yeah, this. you stop yeah. it whenever you want. That's right. true. You're, you're doing this because you want to think. It just isn't like, like light and sunlight and vitamin D and your circadian rhythm are so integral in feeling healthy and feeling good that depriving yourself of it just seems like it would have negative effect. For a couple of days might be all right. Mm. Uh, Okay, yeah, vampire days. guy. I've never heard of a... <laughs> okay, I've, mole guy. <laughs> I've never heard of a fucking doctor's retreat. Are they new? I don't know. Aaron Rodgers does this stuff. Oh, he does? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a little he's strange. Like, yeah. Yeah. Silent retreats. That's, that's kind of a thing. Silent yeah. I've heard of, but not like in pitch black. Well, I don't know if it's pitch black. He called it a darkness retreat. I don't know if that just means that it'll be silent. He says it's silent. a room in a little house. There's a two-way... On the prairie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a two-way little slot where they drop in some food for you, but What's it's isolation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. It's isolation and darkness, no music, no nothing, just myself, isolation. Uh, you can leave whenever you want if you can't handle of it. Of course. Do you shower? Like, Do you take a shit? He How says do... you can wear adult diapers if you want. I don't like it. But there is a bathroom. I don't like it. Wait, you can wear adult diapers if you want? Meaning like if you don't want to leave to go to the bathroom. Yeah, because then you're probably seeing light. Right. Can't they just put one in the toilet that has like a little bit of a glow to it? I don't know. Like one of those turlets with the uh, nightlight inside, like on Shark Tank? Turlet. He says, uh, I think there's a lot of sleeping involved. I'm not taking anything in there with me. If it's too much, I'll just walk out. The door it, 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 he obviously never it, done it. It just sounds like voluntary clinical depression. He did say he was going to bring D's in. D's. D's nuts? nuts. <laughs> Trust me, I have Child. seen the darkness for You're more than four days in a row, and I would not suggest it. There it is. Ozzy, thank you. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> Sam, I hate to correct you, but I have dwelt on the darkness. <laughs> the feigned depth is not impressive. I... You probably have, though. You probably have some va have vampire times before where you're upside down. <laughs> no, like, like Michael Keaton sleeping in Batman? <laughs> no, I, I look at a, a mirror and I wish I couldn't see what I saw. You know, trust me. Okay, well, like when you're right. sleeping all day and, and awake at night. Yeah, I understand that. Like, that's a comic's life in a yeah, way. Like, just do stand up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> right. right. Crack some jokes while you're at it, Rogers. <laughs> that would be. See if uh, you can sell on the road. Where's this little house? Yeah, and why is there no bathroom in the room you want to be in? Like, or at least a, like a toilet bowl. There should be something where you can hit a button and have like a little bit of a, gl a glow if you want to use the bathroom, so you don't have to get full light walking down the hall fighting somebody else for the toilet. You want to take a dump? Mm. <laughs> take a walk. Buzz oh, that's off. That's true. I mean, it's not supposed to be comfortable. I How do you think. eat in the? Oh, I guess it's just a fucking. A, you don't even know what. Does he food. say it's pitch black? Yeah, he says it's a darkness retreat. He says it's a darkness retreat and there's isolation, but are you like, you know, you go Twitter dark, you go this dark, you go that dark. Oh, see, like, is it actual like, pitch black? black? No, I bet it's black because he's saying that you can wear diapers to avoid the light. Like, why else would you wear diapers? You don't wear diapers. Or maybe for... you just don't want to leave. Yeah, just to stay in the room. They could put a bathroom in the room. Let's maybe see. he's just listening to the darkness for four days. Maybe. I believe it if they go loud. That would make me make decisions. I have addressed the darkness. That'd be darkness. awesome. I speak to it. I speak to the darkness. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Sam, you don't understand. You don't get it. You live in the light. Yeah. The light's always shined on See you. That lake out Some there? of us were born in the shadows. That's right. I was born in it. When you see the... <laughs> you got used to the darkness. I was born in it. When you see all the, the darkness, um, look for the light. <laughs> oh, man. I got to write that down. Yeah. You, I'm a firefly. You revved that one up. Yeah. <laughs> you see that lake out there? <clears throat> That's right. See my father in that lake? Mm -hmm. but I didn't see him. I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. You, you will see him, and we will make love. You will make love to me. Oh. Did you know, Karen, <laughs> that when Jim was a uh, late teens yeah. boy? Drunk, yeah. Uh, yeah. He was drunk, and a fat older man. Took him in his car. Because I was in a Satanism, you know, the early 80s. Yeah. You know, devil boy. Okay. Yeah. Careful, folks. A devilish, devilish boy. A devilish Jim Norton was taken by a grown man in his what, car, what, and, and the what? grown man took him to a lake, uh -huh. and he pointed out at the lake. No. And what did he say? He said, uh, he was like, can you see my father's red eyes? <laughs> I don't like it. Like he was the devil. And I was trying to see it so bad. I wanted uh -huh. to believe it so bad. You were intoxicated? Yeah. 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 And you couldn't fake it? I couldn't. I was wow. like, no. And then he said, you will see, you said something about, you will see him and you will make love to me. No. And then no. what did you say? I said something about, I forget how I phrased it, terrifying. but I said, if you try to touch me, I will kill you. <laughs> 
the guy goes, I'm going to sex you. And Norton goes, I'm going to murder, murder you. Yeah, which is not smart to threaten the devil's only son. <laughs> Fat guy in a sports car. Oh, my God. Man, I'm glad 80s. we didn't make love. I would have felt so silly. No devil. No devil shows up. Me with a sore hiney and no devil. Oh, Chuck, where's Satan? <laughs> you promised. God damn it. You Where's wanna... fucking Beelzebub? <laughs> you promised. My butt hurts. Oh, for Pete's sake. Do you want to listen to Aaron Rodgers describe his darkness or I would like to, yeah. Courtesy of the Pat McAfee Show. You normally don't really throw in this time of year. Have you thought about throwing this year? Well, I'm still uh, in the art of contemplation about my future, so mm. I'm... I'm uh... Is that real? Are we really contemplating playing football again still? Is that like a heavy, heavy thought, yeah? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Wow, okay. I didn't know that. I just assumed because the way you've given answers, wearing. it's like that's a great screen he's on. But you have told us numerous times no, Aaron how haven't well this is through done. that portion of your decision making yet. So yeah. I Pat that's McAfee just, does that seems that's a camera. That's not that's an iPhone. Thing. Yeah, it's a real a thing. Computer. 100%. And that's why I think it's, it's going to be important um, to get through this week, and then uh, you know to uh, to, uh, to take my uh, you know my isolation retreat, and just to be able to contemplate. All things, uh, my future, and then uh, and then make a decision that I feel like is is best for me moving forward and in the highest interest of my happiness, and then uh, and then move forward. What's isolation retreat? We're just going into a cave. Are you not going to talk? You're not going to speak? One of those things? Yeah. Is it just you in there? Ooh. And if you're just in there alone, do you know how many days you're in there? Are you taking an iPad, a book? Are we able to reach you? What? Is there it's uh, it's four nights of uh, complete uh, darkness. What? You go to Alaska? <laughs> Not Alaska. No, I've been to Alaska. That's a beautiful state. That's a lot Are you rules. locked in? Where is it? You're not locked in. No, you can you can leave if you if you you know you can't do it. You can just walk out the door. But it's uh, it's a darkness retreat. Wow. And I've had you know a number of friends who've done it and had some profound uh, experiences. And it's something that's been on my radar for a few years now. And I felt like it'd be awesome to do regardless of where I was leaning after this season. So it's been on the calendar for uh, months and months and months. And it's coming up. Uh, in a couple weeks. So you walk into a room for four days. Or is it a cave? Where is it? It's a little house. Yeah. And they just kind of black out the window. Brrr, everything's dropped down. And then there's somebody like in there administering like sounds and what we're going through, options. Of there's, a, there's a two-way uh, mirror. No, like a like a little slot that All they'll, they'll drop in uh, some food for you. But it's... Uh, but it's it's uh, isolation and darkness. No, you know, no music, no nothing. Are they recording you and your actions? How many people are in there? All right, we... uh, just myself. Isolation. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all these questions to get to the same information. If Aaron Rodgers <laughs> was a wasn't a football thought... player, nobody would listen to him talk for oh more than God, eight seconds. No. Why? He is a He lacks dull all charisma. It's fucking zero awful. Dull. God. How, how is this guy a superstar? Well, he's, uh-huh. a, he's a great athlete, athlete player, but... Throw him something. And he gets... He gets uh, a lot of uh, he, big name women's. He should, you know, he's a handsome guy. He's in great shape. And he's he Aaron Rodgers. He should yeah. only do interviews where he's currently like doing a physical sport like throw him something he's so boring no i, yeah, be, I, I bet i bet a lot of people are like fascinated by his depth you know no i can't he tells his ayahuasca you can stories drive trucks he tells through the pauses in his sentences i know you did that <laughs> yeah yeah i don't mind uh him exploring i kind of respect the fact that he's trying different things he's opening his mind sure you're not closed-minded like the rest of us. Has he sustained a lot of injuries, and like CTE stuff or whatever? Did they do some study on a bunch of football brains and they found like 92% of the ones they studied there was CTE? I imagine they were old players who had problems. That doesn't mean 92% of all players, but it's a lot of but it's guys. also something you can't diagnose until you're dead. <laughs> they have to find a way. To, they can't just do a... At the, at the moment right now. But yeah. Did, but didn't Antonio Brown blame his CTE on James Harrison? Did you see that? I think a lot of people... Uh, really uh, is he always, he's always assume, blaming somebody for something? It was really CTE, funny. Yeah. He's, like, he's like, James Harrison hit me one time. <laughs> <laughs> and never, Anything Antonio Brown says is and true. I've never been the same. He's not playing anymore. Antonio Brown? AB? Yeah. No. Yeah, good. Um, but my thing is, like, why not just play, Aaron? What's, 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 why not play? He doesn't know if he wants How to. old is he? He's in his 40s, right? Is yeah. He but if he can. Yeah. Because it's a fucking pain play. in the ass. He's got his cash. And you get hurt a lot, probably even in, pr- I mean, maybe when you're him. So he doesn't practice. like the Packers. He doesn't like his team. He can't play somewhere else. He's Aaron Rodgers. Why he he just... might be, again, he tied in. Yeah, yeah, why... People have oh, contracts, dude. Oh. Can he just leave? 
renegotiate. How much is he worth? He's got have twenty million in the bank. Who's his agent? Uh, Aaron Rodgers is doing fine financially. I don't he know about could... that. <laughs> How big is his house? What's his mortgage payment? No, you're right. What are the taxes? The taxes are where they get you. Wait. $200 million. Yeah. Right, good. Because it's like... You, I stand if, corrected on that. If, if you might regret not doing something, why not just do it? Do it until you fail. What do you Depends carry, what, The risk is on when yeah. you're doing it. You might get hurt doing it. This is not like just yeah. like a, a, a little business venture. For our pleasure. Exactly. Yes. And you I might get, get an injury. I yeah. get why people stick... I love that Tom Brady stuck around for as sure. long as he wanted to. You don't care about his family. But yeah. He doesn't have family. He left Because them. he stuck around. Yeah. For you. For me, well, I was glad he did. Yeah. He wanted to play football. You're he glad. didn't do it. For, he did not do it for me, by You're the way. Glad his family. He did not is do ruined. it for the fans. He said, "What do I care about more, football mm -hmm. or my family?" Mm -hmm. And he decided football. football. Wow. And I liked that he went with what he cared about more. Right. See, we don't because as comics, it's just such a different thing. Like there will may come a day where I decide to hang up those laugh gloves. I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine you having Laugh one. Gloves. Can you imagine Jim having one last dance with the lady comedy? That's right. <laughs> and a farewell song, a farewell tour. That's right. Farewell would, joke. Would, wouldn't it be great if you just sold it's farewell like, tour? It's like the grand closing of the store that never closes. <laughs> wouldn't it be great if Jim did a tour called The Last Dance yeah. and he faked a comedy retirement just to create some buzz? And to get a little few extra tickets sold. Yeah. And then on the last night of the last show, I went, by the way, I lied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm no, saying it. You do. You're, you just it's all got to be self-important right so you do the last dance it's the jim norton farewell tour and you do your whole tour and then two weeks after the tour you post a thing like michael jordan's facts that just says <laughs> i'm back yeah back baby and it's like yeah one more dance out of retirement like, what an and asshole. then you come out of retirement every year for the rest <laughs> yeah, of your yeah, that's life. it that's it by the way our stupid fucking mayor they're closing down these illegal weed stores hey asshole is that what you're worried about while people are being hit over the head with rocks and shoved in front of trains, people selling weed in stores that don't have license. Who the fuck, fuck cares? cares? Hocho says- Gives a fuck. Hocho says subway crime is down from last year. Who? Hocho. You like Hocho, right? I just think that she's a, a, a just a, a, a typical, worthless, detached right. liberal who okay. has no idea what that street crime really, because she's not involved with it. She's not from the streets. She doesn't have it. It doesn't affect her, so she doesn't give a fuck because she has armed security. Yeah. Fuck her. Yeah. And she's probably an takes Ubers everywhere. You That's, know. Yeah. It's like, well, so uh, do I. Hold on. I mean, so do I. Don't you pay two hundred fifty dollars for gym membership? I mean, listen, I haven't stepped on the subway in three years, but I <laughs> yeah. hear these nightmarish stories, and I, that is a lie. I did take the subway with my friend the other day, and it is scary. And there's all these mental patients. These yeah. the stores are getting ripped off. Well, how about you, instead Robert. of that, you fucking stop somebody from going into a CVS and stealing everything, everything, everything they want? Who they gives have. a fuck about pot stores? Right. Hey, these corporations can afford it, man. Well, no, you know what it is? They're charging, it's like a $200,000 process to get a license. So the city probably feels like all these illegal ones are going to cost them that money. That's why they give a shit about that. Mm. Oh, like like people will go like, oh, or I could just do it illegally I'll and just not do pay it. the two hundred grand. Yeah. They're Did trying they to get their money. It's so irritating. Who cares? I Who the see. fuck cares? Should I buy a pot selling license? Yeah. Spend the money. Okay. You'll make it all back. Make it all back, right? Almost instantly. Like well, overnight. And then it will be profit. Pure profit from there on out. Thousand percent. My mom's got a, she's looking at little investment properties for me on Cape Cod. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, you should invest. She, you she, should buy, definitely. Yeah. She can yeah. buy your house on Cape Cod? Well, we're going to go in on it together. Nice. It's going to be me and the fam, put them to work, you know. Nice. <clears throat> Are you going to make a bed and breakfast? We're going to make an Airbnb. Like, yeah, maybe a bed and breakfast. And it's gonna bed be and breakfast is big business on Cape it's gonna Cod. It's going to be pretty cute. I bet it is. You have a good aesthetic. Yeah. How big is the place? It's not huge, like two bed, two bath. You know, you just rent it out. It'll be ours when we want it. But the summer months make bank. Oh my God. Yep. Airbnb is on Cape Cod. Yeah. Yeah, it's right on the water. Oh. We're Come gonna on. make it. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna make the money. We're gonna make it. We well, ain't gonna flip it. We might flip it someday. You're gonna. Oh, okay. You make some money and then you sell it. Yeah. Profit on profit on profit. You heard. <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money. Good for you. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Did you, uh, <laughs> just PTSD, I think. Why? Uh, did you, uh, <laughs> speaking of politicians, did we watch uh, the, the SOTU last night, the State of the Union? I saw some moments of it. Was he talking to us? I, he was talking to us. He's very combative, this Joe Biden. Mm. He was really, he was looking for a fight. 
Uh oh. You know, they were yelling at him. They go like, "The fuck are you talking about?" He'd be like, "No, fuck yeah, those you." Those assholes. Yeah, it's like, just shut up. He was like, "The Republicans, they want to freeze the economy," and then a bunch of Republicans were like, "No, we fucking don't." And he was like, "Yeah, you got something to fucking say? Oh. Say it to my face." That yeah. was the vibe. They're oh, all wow. yelling at you. It's like you know he's gonna go up there and lie. Half of you will stand. Half of you. How about no fucking applause? How about that's the rule? No one claps. Yeah, yeah this is like not the Springer show. Get a shit. It's supposed to be the government. It's exciting. I like. The applause. Can't stand. It's also Seems insincere. Like white trash TV. You know why I like the applause? Because right. I like when like the one Republican stands up at the wrong time. Yeah. And he starts applauding, and the rest of the Republicans are like, "The fuck is what he are you doing? doing, Ralph?" Who are all those military guys? None of them are clap. Are they not? They just don't clap. There was right. like a, there was a row of the top brass of the military. Everybody was clapping for something. They were just sitting there like they were watching somebody take a shit. Because they're cool, dude. Yeah, the military is cool. Supreme Court doesn't stand up and clap. I don't think either. Unless maybe it's for a, a, a citizen or. Remember that one judge? Well, Kavanaugh from the can't because he's a rapist. <laughs> so he can't. I don't know if that's true 100%, yeah. but you know, it's, like it's accused. Yeah. It was accused. You know, so I don't know. Everybody's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> well, then there's the fast thing can we be sued? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Sure, probably not. Sorry, no. just kidding. Just I'm just a in with stupid you. woman. Can you yeah. really? <laughs> yeah, that's why these women, I don't we don't really so, let them on either. very often. <laughs> Well, it's just an accusation. Though. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. She said it as a fact, though. I said well, yeah, she a said it as a fact. I mean, Karen Fian is <laughs> yeah. a known moron. Yes, that's true. So we she do have to take that into account. No, I don't Troy, think. haven't you known that I to be don't... true? I mean, idiot, oh. yeah? Dum dum. I, <laughs> I don't think that would happen. No, I wouldn't imagine. Just, but this one is dumb. You gotta cover it's a your bases. billion dollar corporation. You gotta cover you never your bases, know. you guys. Right. You and this one's a fool. A real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be in the disclaimer. Yeah, this one is total nincompoop. Yum, yum. Yeah, carefree. Oh. Can we see some of the applauses? Like, do they? Uh, does the Supreme Court ever stand and clap? I don't think they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be impartial. No, no, no. But I mean, like, they might for somebody who's a military else? vet or. <laughs> oh, I. Maybe they just clap. I don't know. Sure. You didn't Ginsburg fall asleep at one? She was a hundred a million years old. Well, remember that? Remember that other guy, the bald uh, Supreme Court, that was <laughs> yeah. like super happy that Joe was yeah. talking about him last year. I remember that wasn't impartial. What's his name? I still got that gift. Stephen Breyer, I'm going to guess? I don't know. I got the gift in my folder just so I could text it to Hot Dog and Travis was it when Stephen the time's Breyer? appropriate. Stephen Breyer. He was old. He was bald. He retired. Yes. Stepped yes. down and Katanji Brown-Jackson took over. Did he step down? I yes. Don't know. Yeah, he retired, he yeah. did what Ruth Bader Ginsburg should have done. Night with a While everybody's yelling, RBG, you know, she fucking uh, didn't step down. Love that. And guy. then you got an extra Republican in the court. See, I this... agree. I agree with Jim on that one. Look she at that gift. That's was, not an impartial she gift. She done. That's Stephen Breyer. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Oh, First you make the ice cream, then you get on Supreme Court. You are great. Is he, is he gay or just nice? <laughs> he's, he's nice like that, which is gay. That's one of the all-time questions. <laughs> is he gay? <laughs> yeah. Nice or gay? He's nice. He's nice with it. So... <laughs> Um, no, yeah, it was, uh, it was, a, it was very, com it was a more combative, uh, Joe Biden than what usual. Are they mad he did about? keep his energy up. Because he wants to seem strong because he's going to run again and he's in his 80s and he has a dud of a That's vice president. Was. He was trying to, yeah. He doesn't want to seem like the doddering, fucking pudding brained idiot that he is. Yeah. He didn't come across as pudding brained necessarily last right. night. Except when he's like walking to the thing. He <sighs> looks, right, yeah, he's got that look around look like he's pudding brained. But once he started talking, it didn't seem like it was necessarily put. If DeSantis so. gets the nomination, I wonder who he takes as his vice presidential. Does he take Tulsi? High school girls? Tulsi I Gabbard? Sure. Tulsi Gabbard's like a Republican now. Yes. I, I like Oh, oh so I thought DeSantis. you said Biden. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like Tulsi Gabbard. I do too. I don't know how she feels about certain things, but I kind of like her. I like her. Trump is going crazy on this DeSantis. What, he's attacking him? Yeah. He's throwing accusations, what? like like worse than like yours. Like what I said? Yeah. But I'm a pudding head. A big dumb idiot. <laughs> big dumb, dumb, dumb. Big, big, big. Yeah, I can't believe mm. Trump put Can that out. Can somebody wipe the drool off my microphone? <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who does he take? Would it be, uh, I, I think DeSantis is going to get it. Would he take Tulsi? It'd be a good ticket. I think that would I mean, be an exciting ticket. I think she's I like, like her. I don't like him. I'm going to tell yeah. you something right now. I think she's captivating. This has nothing to do with uh viewpoints on anything just the way people conduct themselves and i saw the you know they do the response to the state of the union after the state of the union mm -hmm. the other party gets to respond to it mm -hmm. and i saw the person that they had responding to the state of the union for the republicans and i was like this could be the this is the one that could be the first lady president you no. know who it was? Don't Ma tell me. Mar it, it Don't could, say it, Madge. Don't it, say it wasn't Mar Marjorie Taylor Green. No, what about, no. about Bobert? No. Are you going to say Bobert? No. no, they're, they're the worst. The, the worst. Trans 
She's a sturdy woman. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders <laughs> fucking <laughs> is the moose. shit. No, don't, don't, don't come in here disrespecting. That moose. Do you know what this is? She's this is Ozzy. She's the biggest woman on the planet. No, she's fucking. No, she's, she's not. They're bigger. She can probably do no Olympic cleans. No tr- no don't shots. do that, Karen. No. Don't do that. Just because you're an expensive she's fat. gym. She's sturdy like all cabin. She's Ozzy on the Technical Ecstasy Tour. <laughs> 1976. You guys are, you guys are awful. <laughs> when that's, that's our. Meatloaf. When, <laughs> yeah, exactly. She said to buy the two out of three. Ain't bad. And just stop saying that. The next president of our country, when, Meatloaf. When she's the president, you guys will be singing a different tune. Mrs. Meatloaf. Yeah. Yes, we'll be singing fucking uh, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. <laughs> Listen, she what? conducts herself with professionalism. Yeah. She's sturdy. Yeah. I don't mind her. <laughs> yeah, that's. A- no, I mean I see the <laughs> physical. <laughs> yeah. In the facial structure, I can see it. Yeah, I can see perfect. what you're saying. That's perfect. We're gonna do a number now. It's perfect. <laughs> Same hair. <laughs> it's perfect. And face. What's well, a great hair? Same shirt and neck. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, not- I don't know why Joe Biden said that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna sit here and say I don't see it? That's not something I'll say. Right. You know, you can't yeah, have it. it's, it's very Ozzy. It's too good. Yeah, so Ozzy's a pretty man. So what? Ozzy's a beautiful gorgeous. man. He's I mean, gorgeous yeah. in that photo, by the way. So I would take it as a compliment. It's that yeah, front. Let neck. me see her talk for a second about She's this. Great. I do like her. She's great. Okay. See if you can edit. That's not the... what she sounds like at all, Travis. See That's if the you can worst ed- impression I've ever. Let's heard. hear this ogre. Edit the gray to be out of her mouth. <laughs> That's terrible. And while you reap the consequences oh. of their failures, the Biden administration seems more interested in woke fantasies than the hard reality oh. Americans face. Every day. Mm. Yeah, see? Yeah. Most Americans simply want to live their lives in freedom and peace. I love freedom and peace. We are under attack in a left wing culture war. We didn't start and true? never wanted to fight. Yeah. Is that true? We're in Every the middle of the left wing culture war. We must war. partake in their rituals, salute their Dr. flags, Dr. and worship their false <laughs> idols. All yeah. of the We're the sucks. devil. That was a Subtext. smart woman in that movie. By Subtext. The way. We're the devil. Stop <laughs> acting like you don't want to be a part of the culture yeah. war. Yeah. She doesn't That's want so to. irritating. She doesn't want Crazy. It's a li- it's a lie. They're doing it, not us. By the way, she'll no never mistake. be president. Why? She's not a good Republicans speaker. She's a great speaker. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Okay. We will Tell lead you. with courage. She's a great speaker. And do what's right. She's one of the we'll greatest. Right. She's a fabulous uh, press secretary. I don't she had to make up for her. all of Trump's madness. Of their failures, Explain it. The Biden administration she absolutely very impressive. Stop pretending you don't want to be a part of the culture she war. She makes me want to press pause. <laughs> yeah, we saw this already. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done with this. <laughs> what are we looping through it again, Travis? You Why and not? me, buddy. She's talking about the woke fantasy. You and me, buddy. Yeah, I get it. I'm, just, I'm sick she of just hearing about sounds it. Like One more time for everybody in the back. Whole barbecue dinner in her face while she talks. That's what the heartland sounds like. I'm still a Chewing my food. You? Maybe as a vice president, you know maybe the... she's Trump's vice president. She'll uh, pick if he if he decides. Maybe. Karen, you spend too much time around the elites. What do you that's mean? Your, that's your problem. I'm the heart and soul of the American people. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want a culture. Yes, you do. We don't do. want a culture war. Want we don't yes, want to worship do. your satanic lesbians. <laughs> yeah. We just want to eat our corn and fart in our holes. That doesn't sound good to you. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's the fake pretending that they're not a, just as big a part of the problem. Yeah. Your anagrams are showing. What's she, what's she yeah. gonna do? What's she gonna... I just want to sit in the grass Wait, and Aaron's gnaw on a Lewis turkey friend. leg. Aaron, so fat fools is, is that is that what you think? Is that what you think the the the, the Republican response is going to be like? Hey, you know, they're doing a culture war, but we're just as bad. No, they wouldn't say it like that. But we are, we are. That'd be a wild t- But just, it's, but I would hate a Democrat for saying the same thing. It's, yeah. th- that's why they're both equally repugnant. The Biden, he said it. He they're said repugnant. The Dem- the Republicans want to destroy everything. Uh, they, mm-hmm. It's the, repulsive. It's, and it's embarrassing that we can't just go outside the, the two parties the Democrats. and go fuck both of them. Well, which is the party that wants to destroy everything? Democrats. No, because I heard the Republicans do too. Oh, yeah. So I, I need know. to figure out. Who's being, right being reasonable wrong. means nothing. I heard some conservative pundit recently talking about, I can't compromise with a lot. It's like, the, the, the people just won't see that they are equally part of the problem. They won't see it. So fuck them. I'll tell you uh, what's wild that's happening over there. They are straight up bullying George Santos now. Mm-hmm. Like, it is, I am getting flashbacks to the lunchroom and being told, you can't sit here. <laughs> Like, it was on some guy's lap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was nervous. It was the first day. Sure. Mitt Romney. Mitt's oh, they got this on tape? I just read it. Well, they asked him what he said, and he was like, yeah, I said it. I said what I said. I said what I said. Yeah, you Mitt would have Romney been embarrassed. Oh. 
Listen to what Mitt Romney said to George Santos. Yeah, oh, hang on, I'm still playing. This I kind of like Mitt Romney. He doesn't give a shit. Cause he, yeah, he's he's, he's like, a, he's he was supposed to he thinks he was supposed to be the president. He's like the Clint Eastwood of Mormons. He's annoyed that it never happened for him. So now it's just like guns blazing. Yeah. I didn't expect that he'd be standing there trying to shake hands with every senator <laughs> in the president of the United States. Uh, given, given the fact that he's under ethics investigation, he should be sitting in the back row and staying quiet instead of uh, parading in front of the uh, president and, uh, and, and people coming into the room. Could he respond to you? Look, look, look. He, he, he says he, uh, you know, that he embellished his record. Look, embellishing is saying you got an A when you got an A minus. Lying is saying you you graduated from a college you didn't even attend. And, and he shouldn't be in Congress. Get him, Mitt. Uh, they're going to go through the process and hopefully get him out. And uh, But he shouldn't be there. And, and uh, if he had any shame at all, he wouldn't be there. Why did you, did you make a point oh. to say that, though? I mean, you, you went, I mean, it was kind of out of your way to, to He was standing that. right there in the aisle, shaking hands with everybody. Did he respond to you? <laughs> Fuck him up, uh, Mitt. He may have. I didn't hear anything he said. That oh, he's like, I don't even hear it. Man, I don't even hear it. Man, I don't care what that little bitch had to say. You don't belong here. I mean, Mitt Romney is kind of right, but it's also for somebody in this cesspool of disgusting fucking cesspool. scrupulous cesspool. people. They're scrupulous. They have no scruples. Any of these fucking Uns- people. Uns- Discrupulous. Yeah, I always say Unscrupulous. it. They have zero scruples. For him to act like George Santos is such an anomaly because he's more of a liar. He's just a more blatant version of all of them. I mean, he's, he's a, a huge a liar. Huge liar. Underst- One so of the all time. All of them. Well, I don't remember I, any of them saying they produced Spider-Man. He said he produced Spider-Man. He, That's crazy. That, like in his room, like the, the Spider-Man, or he's like, no, I produced He said a he produced a Broadway Spider-Man. Did the he? One, yeah. Bono produced that. Uh, Not George Santos. Where's Bono? He's Bono, there. you need to stand up, Bono. <laughs> he said Bono. he was in a movie with Uma Thurman. That Again, Uma Thurman he's a wasn't pathological in. shit liar. He used a different name. But That's... I don't find him to be that. He's just a more blatant, awful version of all of them. They're said... all fucking snakes. He said he was Jewish. Yeah, Ish. exactly. That's exactly. crazy. They all fucking. I think though, in like seven, like the last poll was like seventy-eight percent. He's terrible. Like across the board, like 100%. even Republicans. Yes, like, this guy of course, gotta go. Mitt Romney's bullying him. It's just the attitude you of Mitt Romney. He doesn't belong. It's like shut the fuck. George up. Santos though, he replied to Mitt Romney on Twitter though. What oh, he, wait, he got like, it really good. Oh, oh, let me hear. Hey, at Mitt Romney. Just a reminder that you will never be president. Good for him. Nailed you know what? Nailed I'm it. Team Santos. <laughs> for that cesspool of people. Oh my God! This is like Congress I mean, is like you a roast some, battle on I'm Twitter. Team fucking Santos. You hit us with some wild takes, but I did not see this one coming. No, that's because again, he's a pathological, <laughs> crazy liar. You're a fan. Well, you're a I, fan of his no, I just I dislike <laughs> what are, all of them. What are the platforms them. he oh, yeah. runs on? What no, does Santos want to do? It all then? it all changed when the Brazil pictures came out. <laughs> uh, that did skewer me. I, or, yeah. Skew? skew? Not skewer, skew. 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 Yes, yeah, skewer. He what skewered I was Mitt Romney on Twitter with that diss. <laughs> Nailed him, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. He doesn't belong Wait, in this. Can you guys group. explain to me because I'm so dumb? Yes, he does. What does Santos want? Like, what's what are his platforms? What is he for? Well, he just lies about everything, so nobody no knows. One knows. That's he's, my a, he's a terrible liar. Like yeah. he just says. But he's a Republican. He's a Republican, and then he says what stuff. What state does he represent? This New York, one. Long Island. Oh my God, yeah. that's embarrassing. They're all yeah, nuts yeah, on yeah. Long Island. Yeah, they are. Everyone on Long Island is nuts. Just like they're Trump all crazy. Country. They're nuts. Yeah. Every weirdo I've ever met has been from Long Island. <laughs> I get out of the convenience store, and a guy walked out one time, went. Fuck you. <laughs> Where is he from? Look, it was on Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> was it after a gig? No, I was on my way to a gig years ago. It was just so weird. But yeah. Maybe angry. You saw your set. Yeah. I got I, the, it. The people, I, I, I visited friends' family in Long Island, and they're like the type of people who like put an in ground pool in like their kind of shitty backyard. Yeah. Right. And they're like, but they'll the have pool. like embellished marble, but like, you know. Dog shit all over the art. You know what I mean? Like What's Randy just... Quaid's character in uh, Vacation? No, whatever it is. It's annoying. Cousin Eddie? Yeah. yeah. He's from Long Island, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why you don't like Randy Quaid? I mean, the flying into fucking Independence Day. That was a great scene. No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> Independence Day, fabulous movie. <laughs> Incorrect. Do you don't like Randy Quaid in the Vacation movies either? He's okay. He's fine. He's fine. 
But yeah, no, I, don't, I don't like George Santos. It just reminds me of how much I dislike the rest of them. Like it's the hypocrisy that bothers. And, and not even that the, he's got to go. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's big the, time it's, line. It's, but it's the idea of, I mean, embellishing is one thing. Right. But no, there are blatant fucking liars. All of them are blatant liars. Right. They make promises that they know they will never. It's the self righteous condescension. They, it's they're, like, they're just, I'm like this pillar of like righteousness. I, I mean, know. I can a and a minus. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. It's like you have butt sex. We yeah. can tell. Who does? Nobody. <laughs> His name's Mitt. <laughs> He's taking it. Oh, I can't stand that. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Sorry. I think what? it's not. Yeah, I'm going to say this for Allegedly. the record. Mitt Romney takes penises in his rump. <laughs> I'm almost positive he doesn't, but that's just me. We're you know what being a liar is? Pretending you're someone else on Twitter to agree with yourself. Is that an embellishment? He did that. That's nowhere near as serious as what George Santos did. But don't act like so you don't lame. get it. We all got burner accounts. Otherwise, how do we get our likes? That's sick. I don't. I don't. I have, a- I have all accounts. Everyone knows of me. Not one burner account. I have three burner accounts. Everybody go find them. <laughs> yeah, I know who they are. You're yes. Fucking- <laughs> one of, <laughs> any one of them is subscribed to OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. You're like, here, pester the molester. <laughs> like. <laughs> all right. Mitt Romney was... Pierre Delecto. <laughs> nice. Which is a great name. Pierre Delecto. Okay, but, okay, yes. but again, Mitt Romney was simply Pierre Delecto on Twitter, <laughs> and he fessed up to it. He did. George Santos How- literally lived under a different name How and has never caught? been cleared Good as to why. Him. Good for yeah. him. How did he, how did he get the same caught? way they all get caught. They forget which account they're under, yeah, and, and they tweet. I think he was like it. following like, uh, maybe his daughter or his granddaughter, and that was one of the only accounts that he was following. So yeah, like, it was just a, a, a he mistake. Came, but he came forward, and name. then that Halloween, his son dressed up as Pierre, Pierre Delecto for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, his son was funny. Were you feeling that bicep? You proud of yourself? Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> I'll do it all day. <laughs> called uh, self-love sam uh, i think it's actually it might be vanity but i'm not 100 like, percent sure it's like my dick <laughs> at a goil yeah at a goil self-love yeah oh, all yeah, right let's run yourself. for something i know a lawyer i tell her i'm like you just run Ooh. for something yeah right? you know a lawyer yeah i know a whole lawyer you're gonna need him after all the allegations you've been making <laughs> like today. spewed today on yeah. the airwaves it's insane <laughs> i stand by none of that none of anything that you say broadcasting lies Pierre Delecto, Mitt Romney's grandson. That's and hilarious. It's pretty funny. Pierre Delecto. It crossed out Mitt Romney on his name. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> With a fake mustache on yeah. and everything. Looks like my dad's real mustache. Is it his dad or his granddad? That's his grandson. His grandfather, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really well. funny. Yes, Very it is. Funny. Very funny. I would vote for that kid. Because I like his sense of humor. That's a child. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is this, a Disney movie in water, the 1990s? I'm a water brain woman. Let's let the children run it. <laughs> what what it? do you think about Disney Housecast? getting... Uh, I, I don't like DeSantis for the way he's ha- handling Disney, and I don't like them either. It seems very It seems very petty. I, I think that it's also like, you're, well, you're a woke ideology. You're enjoying our hospitality. Yeah, but they've brought billions into your state, too. Let's not pretend that it's not a fucking... No, it's a, it's a windfall for especially Central Florida. Yeah, I mean, uh, but he just doesn't like that they didn't like his bill or they spoke up about it. Well, they uh, yeah, they handled that uh, dumb. They did, but it's waiting like, don't... so long and just trying like they were so clearly terrible. Just trying to, yeah, 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 ride of the whatever yeah, wave. They're fucking woke fruits, all of them. You think so? The whole fucking company sucks. <laughs> I don't give a shit about all of Disney. Disney. Well, part of it, any part that doesn't include me. Yeah, which is all of it. I mean, Disney's wide ranging. I'm actually a huge fan of Disney. Of course, I would be too. Yeah, Disney's actually one <laughs> like of my cla- top companies. Like classic old Disney. Or no, like I just now? like Disney as a corporate entity. You're into them like, just in case. <laughs> the right? stock. You like yeah. the stock. No, I, I like Disney. I think they know how to run a company. I like Disney. They would make good employers. I like Comcast a lot. Mm-hmm. I think Amazon is like I, I like. I think they're onto something. Big conglomerate guy. Apple? Love con- Apple rules. Apple rules. I love conglomerates. I have Apple stock. Look at you. Yeah. How did you know to get in on that? I'm like really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> did Lieutenant Dan I'm buy like, it for you? I'm like really stupid. <laughs> hey guys, I just I picked up that. some, saw the new MacBook, decided to pick up some Apple stock. I grabbed some Apple stock on my way to work. Yeah. <laughs> um, Splits a lot. Yeah. Disney has a lot of money. The Kardashians, yeah. right? They're on Disney. Are they? Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know. Well, Disney, they're on Hulu, Hulu and Hulu, Disney sorry. owns Disney. most of Hulu. Yeah, but I don't so, think yeah. like Disney's like, that's not their main. They yeah, own, Disney makes sex. They literally own Marvel. Disney okay, sexy right. synonymous. Yeah, you remember the big penis on the Little Mermaid? Remember? I remember it from the box cover. What about yeah. the sex cloud? Remember the bo- and, and there was exactly. a boner in it too. Yeah. Yep. yep. So yeah, of course the Kardashians fit right in. Fit right in. I don't think they own the sex tape. 
Yeah, they, might. they probably they own, own everything. They probably have Pam and Tom. Maybe. Pam and Tommy. You think too. so? Do you guys I watch think Netflix bought that them. documentary. That was fucking great. I didn't watch the documentary. I can love Pamela Anderson because I watched the series and I enjoyed it, and I didn't want to feel bad about yeah, it. Yeah, so you didn't... should because you're a piece of shit, and the guy. Because who... that's what you are. You piece of shit. And that's what like the guy who played Tommy <laughs> fucking stunk. I couldn't get through like, the second episode. I like the actress who that's played Bucky. her. I hate that guy. What? Sebastian Stan? I stand Sebastian Stan. Wait, what show is this? You're a homosexual. I don't like him because he wasn't like, he was not giving rock star. I didn't like, I I thought he was, again, Tommy's a hard guy to, Nice. his face didn't look right. No. Like, it's too round, his face. Yeah, he looked like Chris Kattan. Yeah, it wasn't great. Chris Kattan rules. Yes, but not for this role. (laughs) Her acting was so good. She was so dumb to not not get the money for that. There's no way to phrase it. It was a stupid financial blunder. She, well, it was she also, fucked herself out of millions. Yeah, but it was also because they didn't realize, like we still didn't know the internet was forever at and, that point. Like yeah. she was living in the old school. Yeah, way. I guess so. Her son, her don't forget have... too, the Brett Michaels, Pamela Anderson sex tape had come out before that and it just went away. That's true. Because it was like, you know, we're passing around VHS. But you still, you don't sign over the rights to your shit for no money. Like, she signed something to let them do what they want. Because they were killing her in court. The fucking, they were just going after her and harassing her and calling a whore day in and day out. I understand. fucking thing. She couldn't, she had a baby. She'd already had one miscarriage. Yeah. They were fucking torturing her. It was just a bad financial. She just wanted it to be over. Like, she just, like. You were very influenced by the documentary. Listen, the doc was well made. Yeah. I didn't see the documentary. I will. It really humanizes her and, like, really makes you, like, just want to be on her side and her sons have two different opinions about her not taking the money one is like I wish she had taken the fucking money we'd be this we'd be that da, da, da. and the other one's like I love her so much for not taking the money for being it's like it's an integrity you. move to not yeah. take the money yeah. I don't I don't I don't think so I, even though she did it for integrity reasons they're fucking you by stealing your shit and putting it out there at least you should fuck them out of the money I think the integrity is to take what is entitled to you like, you're not being greedy. It is out there, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. So you might as well go, well, you're going to yeah, pay Yeah, but then me. for the rest of time. It's like a copyright strike. For the yeah. rest of time, it's the same thing that happened to Kim Kardashian. Like, for the rest of time, you can't complain about it because the minute you do, people will go, oh, but you're cashing those checks. Right. Let them. You can still complain about it. It was stolen, and they were going to do it anyway. Yeah. So why their not give me the money? It's crazy. Like, they stole their They stole it's it insane out of her house. insane how that was allowed to be out there. Seth Rogen did it. I know. <laughs> that fucking Rogan, dude. Yeah. Before Even though knocked up. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy was a dick to that guy, but what a fucking piece of shit that guy and, is. You can't rob and, somebody's house because they're a dick. What a dick. piece of shit <laughs> that guy she's, is. She's also a wonderful mother. Like, Tommy, like, hit her, like, once, and she was done. She, like, did it to, like, protect her son. She got back with him. She, for maybe for a minute, but she but it ended. She started yeah. dating Kid Rock he, after that, dude. Yeah, she married like four other dudes. Listen, Pam had a lot going on. You love I, that I like Pam. She I, was I, in I, Chicago. She did the roast and she donated all of the money to PETA. She's she, got a heart of gold. Is she not rich? Um, I think she's comfortable. Baywatch money is big money. Bay, no, Baywatch, she said no, in, in her autobiography, she said she made nothing from Baywatch because she made a bad deal. Yeah. You guys have done a lot of Pamela Anderson. It's just broke. in the news. A couple of you horrible deals yeah. financially. Cover, cover. I don't think she's yeah. broke. She still has her name and like all these like you know stuff that she does. I heard she got paid a whole bunch of money recently for a documentary and <laughs> yeah, yeah, book. Yeah, 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 yeah. That we're yeah. All... <laughs> she, she also was uh, in Chicago, and that was really impressive. To Twenty watch million. Her... That's her net worth. Oh, that's true. She was in Not Chicago much. right here on Broadway. Be. You watched it? She's worth one hundred fifty million dollars. I didn't watch Chicago. The amount of money she's made for people. great. <laughs> and as famous as she is, and as much as like she's brought like the eyes on thing, she should be worth a lot more than twice. She should be I worth a hundred million dollars. I is agree. it like? A, but it feels like I didn't watch the doc because it feels like it's very similar to like, like they did a Britney Spears doc, a Monica Lewinsky doc, where it's like, it's kind of the same story about how, and it's true, like these women were treated like garbage, shit, yeah, because it was the culture, and like now you're hearing their voice all it's these also, years later. It's also it's a biased documentary. The way they're piecing together no. the late night interviews and stuff like that. Like, because I remember the late night interviews, thinking like these are funny. Like she's having fun. Like she never seemed to be yeah. manipulated. You know, what I've I mean? had enough. Okay. of the uh. late night interviews. <laughs> no, of like Paris Hilton and all. Oh, that was treated so badly. People loved you. People loved Pam Anderson. There might have been some shittiness, but the public in general but loved they Pamela Anderson. Objectified. You were in Playboy. Oops. You were naked and, and you were on a show where you were in a bikini, which right. is cool time. It doesn't mean that you can't be respected, but stop. 
And especially when you, you're, she always would say, like, I made me feel empowered doing those things. So she wasn't huh. ever like a doe, like, right. doe-eyed, like, oh, what's happening? She always was like, I, these are conscious choices Does I'm making. Does she talk about Kid Rock a lot in the doc? Not a lot. I'll probably skip it, though. Just quick. And she moved to Detroit. Oh, right, that was the thing. To be with Kid Rock? Be yeah. with Kid Rock. She never kids there. Yeah. That's, that rules. Yeah. 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 That's a glow-up. <laughs> that is a glow-up. That's up. a big <laughs> fuck you to Tommy Lee. Did they talk about the fight between Kid Rock and Tommy Lee? I don't think so. Is there a doc on Kid Rock? There should be. There should be. I would like to see that. There's got to be. It's called All Summer Long. (laughs) The Kid Rock story. There's got to be. Yeah, Yeah. she makes four grand a year from Baywatch residuals. What? That sucks. She made a bad deal. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. She made another because bad even, deal well, with the said, tape. She yeah, did, she didn't have it's really a lot like, of money be made off that show in her camp. In the beginning, they're like, "Yeah, my agent was like Playboy. Like she didn't have anybody that was like representing her. Has she it. got Baywatch via Playboy. Playboy so yeah, she they were have. going to Playboy to get her to do other stuff, and she wouldn't show up for like auditions. She didn't show up for the Baywatch audition four times. Really? Yeah. You memorize this she thing. Sucking huh? dick. She's a dumb whore. No, yeah. I'm saying she was. I love her. I love. Did you her. take notes as you were watching? Yeah, or? I'm like, how do we fail, wow. but and still be rich? Like, I feel <laughs> bad for her, like to, to get fucked for money like that, because you hate to see anyone get ripped off like I bet that. Hasselhoff but... is making big money. Of course he right. is. Right. And but it's just like, that? how does that all? Why, why does that happen? Why is there? It's so clandestine. Why is it so secretive? Why shouldn't they all have known what they all were getting? At the same time, because well, because whoever's making the most doesn't rights. want other people. They you don't want to cut into your own amount of money. Like, money you just taints people. But yeah. at the beginning, wasn't she just nobody? Like David Hasselhoff was a name. She was carrying that show in by Germany. the end, though. Like by the everybody end, sure, tuned yeah. in. No, she did uh, Night Rider. Yeah, he did <laughs> Night Rider. Night Rider was, was huge. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Night Rider. Talk on it, Troy. David Hasselhoff <laughs> deserves every penny he got. Talk he was a Night hop. Rider. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. I snuck in maybe something that could be construed as slightly Troy, disrespectful. Don't talk shit about Night and you were like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't talk shit about the Hoff. No, you're right. You're right. I started hassling the Hoff. <laughs> no, you're right. I won't do that. I won't do that again. He rules. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think that Jim's right. That like, you know, people don't bring up how much they're making because... Somebody else will try to yeah. make that amount, and then the budget goes down, and then they're going to... Their money goes down. Yeah. 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 And that was also smaller. like a competitive cast. Like, Yasmin Bleeth came in, and like it didn't seem like... Like, there were different girls in yeah. all the time. So, yeah. like, when friends got together, and they were all like, one. you know, one group, right. and were making the same amount oh, of money. Oh, did they do that? Yeah, they, yeah. Made, they made the exact same salary. Okay, it's easy. They all get $20 million a year in residuals. Wow. Yeah. Like twenty million a year. But they were each the one. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Twenty yeah. million a year. In yeah. Why would you? I wouldn't even work. They like, get two percent each. What's Jen Aniston modules. doing? Like, why is she still in all these movies? Why wouldn't you just disappear? I would. I would. I would do that's the exact. Fair. You're a hundred yeah. twenty million a year. Bye. I know that's coming in. Yeah. See ya. Get my own. Get my own island. Get yeah. me own island. Get me own island, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be England. That would be the island. My boy, England. <laughs> yeah, which one would you get? Epstein Island. Island. Come on, Kevin. Let's let's keep it. Let's keep it above board. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> shoehorning in topical nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't Pam. think the Baywatch cast was ever that like tight knit. No, you know? no. Okay. So yeah, why share what you're doing? They were, were they awesome. always like that, or or did they do Friends? that as time went on? Like... No, they were always like that. I don't think any of them were ever nominated for best actor or actress because they were always like we're a supporting cast. We're all going to be nominated in the supporting fields. They were very supportive of each other. Okay, yeah. and no one was huge when the show started. When the show started, right. no, like they had done stuff, but, but nobody like, was huge. Courtney it wasn't Cox like there was had been one. in Masters of the Universe. No, that and Bruce Springsteen's video. Right. Right. I wonder if dark. that's how this shows. Like they, the chemistry was so good because they were all legitimately like, no, we, we're yeah. all in this together. It was smart. And then, but now they hate Matthew Perry, right? Because he can't get his shit together. Well, yeah. Why do they hate he him? He struggles with addiction. Yeah. 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 They probably don't hate him. They're probably just showing some tough love. Why are they not so, talking to him? They might not be. They might be disconnecting with love sometimes. Isn't he works. sober? I thought he was. He's, He's had now, struggles. Yeah. No, but I mean, as of in the last, I think no as of right now he is. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Ben Affleck's fucking drinking again. I'm do you sorry. Think? What I mean, what is she doing? What's the what do you he think they do? Work. What do you think their day to day is? Why do you think he's drinking again? Do you see him drinking or is he at the Grammys? He looks weird and I swear she mouthed you're drinking. 
I thought I saw it in a clip. Okay, so you're just uh, back you're just to making I'm, shit up again. <laughs> back just, to salacious. You, guys, you totally why, agreed with me. Why do you keep saying things assertively that you're making up? Pull up some footage. <laughs> you just, you just, Dumb you don't. Pull up all some you have footage. to do is say the words "I think" Nobody before you make these statements. statements. I, why do you keep? Making, I am positive. <laughs> why do you keep making these statements of fact? <laughs> I am that are total fabrications. Typically sure. <laughs> Ben Affleck's fucking drinking. Blood let, me, let me see what she said. Look at him. Pull up any recent none of the appearance. Lip, none of the lip reading experts said that. Well, she's making shit up. I know she is. But oh, again, here maybe. on from KoiMoy. Ah. Com. Oh, you might. I forgot you subscribed to Koi Moy. Listen, this is a notable. Notab- they got into an <laughs> argument. Notably. He looks buzzed. I mean, again, Thank he looks. Thank you, he lo- Jim. His face he looks buzzed. He looks wasted. Everything you see, like lately, that's I think, a buzzed face. I think they made a deal. She's like, whatever. You can fucking drink. You know. He might be on pills. He wants to be there. No. I think Wait. he's on both. She doesn't even want to look yeah, at him. Maybe he's on he might be on an edible. He's on cheap. He's cheaping up. If he's you like, told me he had a gummy real quick before he took that photo, you believe him? Maybe you might be right. Might be. California sober, as they call it, yeah. yeah. California he's, dreaming. I think he's drinking. He might be, or, or on pills, or, or like edibles. Because you're a yeah. pessimistic person. I can't do edibles. Why aren't there like more like happy, like you know, blended family stuff going on? You know what I mean? I think when he's drinking, he's probably What's she talking about. I don't know. <laughs> like I feel like when he's drinking, he's Flying probably the on. The, yeah. I think he's probably on the outs with Jennifer Gardner. Like when he's like in a like. Karen, this is why when you come on, we just insult you because when when you're just left to your own devices, <laughs> you just say crazy shit. Why isn't there more blended family stuff <laughs> going on? What the fuck is she <laughs> talking? about? What are you talking, talking about? Like happy, like why don't like yeah. the Jen and Jens hang out with all their kids and like. Mark Anthony, like, why is he? Oh, you're right, because all divorced families just love each other. (laughs) Troy, you were just saying your parents just used to hang out with each other all the time after their divorce. They loved each other. Yeah, Yeah. to co-parent. Usually that's why people get divorced, because they love each other too much. Yeah, because the kids suck. I think that when Ben... (laughs) There was an article last week about him hanging out with Jennifer Garner's boyfriend. It was? Was it on Koi (laughs) Moy? No. Were they drinking? No, they were just chilling. Look, Uh, smiling, having a good time. Oh, I guess. I mean, Karen. There's your blended family. You're all over the place. What's wrong with you today? Yeah. Which one's the other yeah, boyfriend? On the... The you think you're hot yeah. shit because you got this new gym. You can just say whatever you want. <laughs> I'm doing barbell <laughs> Olympic lifts. You come I'll in fight here, anyone. You come in here doing front <laughs> squats thinking you could just say whatever. When it comes to him, when it comes out and everybody's like, oh, yeah, the, and Penn does an interview where he's like, that whole time I was drinking, I was totally drinking at the Grammys, you come back You might me. be right. You'll be doing front come squats. Come back, come back, and we'll regroup that. What does she say yeah, to him? Let's watch that chest. again. Maybe he leaned in drunk. The Grammys What thing? the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Funny. like, I hate Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking like it. <laughs> This is terrible. This is a terrible thing he's to do to He's not dancing, person. he's all upset. Was- drunk people dance. Drunk people love dancing. Yeah, nah. but that he's not dancing. Alcohol- oh, Let's he look says it, look, look more friendly. No, oh, that's the what camera. they say. He said, "Look more friendly." I'm no, dude. Wasted. She goes, "You're drinking." She said, "Look motivated." And he look goes, motivated. "I might." Shut up. It doesn't even. It's not even the same look, letters. You're drinking. Boom, right there. I might. I might. Or uh, because Trevor's right there, so Ben's probably drunk and too loud. This fucking guy wasn't even good on the Daily Show. She's like, "Shut." <laughs> right there. Right Shut up. I'm so annoyed. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any evidence to what Karen She's is saying. She's saying you're drinking. That is I'm not saying it's impossible. But... Yeah. <laughs> Even on that level, you have to deal with this shit. Both of them have to. 100%. Mm-hmm. It's encouraging. Yeah. Look at her fucking spicy. She's mad. She's mad. Yeah. I'd She's go home like, and sit up, dude. Yeah. I would sit right up with her. Fucking slob. Do you have to tinkle? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, of throwing money away, what the hell is Kevin Costner doing on this uh, Yellowstone? On his show? What do you mean? What happened? You know that show he's on that everybody is he gonna walk away? He's leaving. Everybody loves Yellowstone. It's the hottest show on TV. He goes, I think I'm gonna leave the show because I only want to film like once a week. He's old. And they're like, we need you to film much more than once a week. You're the star, or we'll just get Matthew McConaughey. And he goes, yeah, maybe do that. <laughs> and you're like. What are you doing? He's done. It's the hottest show on TV. How they're, much is he worth? He doesn't give a shit. I don't think I mean, McConaughey can replace him. I don't think McConaughey he's old can enough. do anything. I don't think he's old enough. Well, he enough. won't play the same character. Oh, okay. Come so on. What, that's Get what a you hold implied. Of Get a hold of yourself. That's what you implied. He'll be the oh, star. Oh, he's stepping away, but McConaughey's going to come in and play He'll the He'll be wife. replaced as the star. But McConaughey he's the be patriarch a... of the family. Oh, he's the one. Yeah. How much is Costa worth? I don't know. That's sick. That was a good one. You got it. Thanks, man. And maybe it's a negotiating ploy. 
I mean, that's a hell of a negotiating Or maybe point. he just wants to uh, do a... $250 million. Yeah, I mean, he's a quarter billion. He's worth billion. 250 Yeah. It doesn't sound... It sounds... I mean, the report from Deadline <laughs> sounds like they are well into conversations Woo! with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, maybe... You know what? Maybe Costa will do once a week and, like, just a smaller part and let this guy build. Like, he, just... He maybe I didn't realize. Yeah, they are going to kill him. I mean, he's been sick. That character, like, had surgery in the first season. Yeah, there's only like, so much they can, they can do. They can kill him off pretty I just easy. Didn't, I didn't How realize he saved all his Robin Hood money. It's Costa, yeah. You're worth two hundred and fifty million. Saved, they can also easily survive without him now. Maybe he doesn't like the uh, sixty-eight. Maybe he's not as happy yeah. with the show. He might be bored. What's his five years? It probably is hard. Yeah, long but I mean, he just won a Golden Globe. Like a lot of outside stuff. He might not like the way the stories go. He might feel like it's running out of steam. Like just internally, like his uh, deal allig- originally limited himself to sixty-five days of shooting. He only wanted to do fifty for the first part of the current season. He's just not into it. So now he wants to only spend one week shooting. That rules. For the second part of the season. I love him for it. Yeah. He's he's, like, get me when you get me. Get me when you get me. They're like, whatever. He's like, whatever, dude. I'll do another Waterworld. Everybody will. Every take, you're under pressure. Like, oh, God, the the star wants to leave on Saturday. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You really become a dictator on set. Yeah, he could just come in and be a. But he's willing to walk away, I guess. You're worth a quarter of a billion. I had no idea he still had all his money. Yeah, good for him. Yeah. He's got Field of Dreams money. He's got all his Bull Durham cash, (laughs) too. Every bit of it. He probably invested very wisely. JFK. Like, he's been in some massive fucking Robin films. Hood, Prince he, of Thieves. The Mailman. I don't know if the Mailman was up there with- You don't think so? No Way Out, we just, as we discussed. Mm-hmm. He must have invested, too. 250 That's a lot. He's probably a producer on a lot of these films. Yes. Now. The Bodyguard. Yeah, it was a big movie. Yeah. What was Cross, his first Crosser movie? Was fucking hot. He so? was, right? Fucking the Untouchables. Oh, yeah. Dick Tracy. Forgot about oh, The Untouchables. I watched um, that the other day. That was great. Bull, Dan- uh, Dances with Wolves. Bullworth. Yep. Message in a Bottle. Uh, that was a big movie. Oh, okay. Like, it made, mo- it made, it money. made money. You almost said Moolah. Moon- no, I almost said Moolah. It made Moolah. Money, money, Moolah, Moolah, Moolah. Muldoons, Muldoons, Muldoons. Yeah, Costner is a babe. What was his first film? Let's see. Dances with Wolves, that one. Yeah, not the, that. There's but, been but, so many that, massive fucking movies that. this guy's been involved with. Oh, The Postman, not The Mailman. The, the, the Postman? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Malibu Hot Summer. Oh, nice. I remember that one. Yeah. Night Shift was a big movie, too. Yeah. Oh, he was only a tiny part in that. Frat Boy number one. Field of Dreams 2, The Grass Keeps Growing. That sounds like really? a porn. The Big <laughs> Chill was his first big movie, I think. That was a very But big this film. says oh, Scenes yeah. Deleted. Wow. So really? Okay. In, yeah. The Big Chill 2. Even the Untouchables chillier. was his first big movie. Right. 87, yeah. Silverado was... Was uh, was Silverado big? I don't it, not like The Untouchables, but Silverado, I remember. I don't remember what it's about, but I remember like, oh yeah, Silverado. I think that was a pretty decently received movie. Or, or, but I mean, 87, that's when he started. Yeah, that was No Way Out. And Bull that was, Durham in 88, Field of Dreams in 89, Dances with Wolves in 90. Robin Hood in 91. Dances with JFK Wolves 2, still dancing. And The Untouchables oh, was a good movie. That's a rock. Yeah. Dances yeah. with Wolves and Bodyguard, or whatever the ones you, I mean, that was like the Wyatt Earp peak. was a big film. Yeah. 87 to 94 is a run. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what was the first, like, what happened after, what was the last big one? Uh, well, Water, Waterworld, Waterworld really, really fucked him. Dude. Waterworld <laughs> fucked him up good. Yeah. And that's when he just started doing shitty movies like Tin what about Cup, Waterworld, Postman. Waterworld 2, still dripping? Wasn't Tin Cup a big movie though? <laughs> Tin Cup was a pretty, was not like a small. It wasn't a small movie. Wasn't no. it, was it a flop? I don't think so. <laughs> you okay. Was it a flop? Yeah. No, but it, he still had that water Something world just like uh, stink, stink, stink on him. Uh, well, Costner. Yeah, it's gonna cost. Budget it. was forty-five. Box office was seventy-five. So it was successful. Made thirty. Then he did For Love of the Game, and everybody thought that was going to be his big comeback because it's another baseball movie. I think Greer Barnes had a small part in that. And I remember, it was that like in it was the, okay. like 2000 or ni- late 90s? 99. I yeah. was walking by when they were shooting that in the village, and uh, they were shooting off to the right. And I remember the fucking asshole uh, 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 PA goes, oh, you can't walk this way. Like I was just walking down the street, like mm-hmm. not in the... Sh-. He goes, because you might be in the sight line down there, and I was such a cuck. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I knew Greer was in the movie, so, so I didn't want to be a dick. 13 Days was a good movie. 13 Days was good, yeah. Is that a horror movie? No, it's about oh. the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh. Yeah. So in a way it was, if you believe yeah. in world peace. <laughs> if you believe in world peace. 13 Miles to Graceland. 13 Days 2, two full weeks. 
Is that what it was? <laughs> you know all these sequels that I didn't see. I like sequels. Yeah. I'm a sequels sequel guy. semi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. For, no, the sequel to 13 Days was Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Who did he play in uh, 13 Days? I mean, I don't know. But it's a second JFK movie, so that rules. Yeah. That rules. Kenny O'Donnell. Kenny O'Donnell, buddy of mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> You should put them in my country. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who Ken O'Donnell was. He was an assistant to, or was he like a, a defense secretary or something? He was a big or, part or of the Kennedy. Travis, Travis said it like we were all supposed to know who Ken O'Donnell. Ken O'Donnell. I, I know his name. He was somebody with. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Powell. He's a big part mm. of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Something about yeah. Uh, he was a political consultant and special assistant. Okay. So he's a dum dum. Kennedy he didn't even get a full yeah, term, and he got two movies out of it. Yeah. Cuban Missile Crisis and getting assassinated? That's not too shabby. By the way, thank you very much for giving me this KISS notebook. I love it. The no guy, problem. you didn't put your name. Oh, it's Brad mm. from uh, Primal uh, Primitive uh, Shirts at Primitive Shirts. Thank you. A nice Alive 2 KISS notebook. Very nice. Vintage. Vintage, yeah, it's nice. Wow. Thank you. Gonna go home and write some jokes. There it is. All about kiss. <laughs> it's always good to see Karen Feehan. If you want to see her, you can see her every Friday, of course, on mm. Only Feehans, available on our so. YouTube channel. You can also see her March 10th at the Comedy Pit in Philly. And uh, if you do run into her, something you might want to know is that she will only marry a guy with the same amount of money she has or more. Good for her. So if you're making less, don't even bother. Don't bother me. Right. Right. Good tidbit. Cool. Take a W-A-L-K. Yeah. 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 7 p.m., Fat Black Pussycat. It's been selling out every week, so if you want to come see me tonight, uh, I'm running my hour. It's been great. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. This has been Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Listen whenever you want with the SiriusXM app. Free for most subscribers. Download it today and start listening outside the car.